I really do hate when you say Twitch unreachable. That scares me. Twitch, don't play with my emotions. Load. Load. Yeah! Okay. So, stream is up. Comments are working. More specifically, we haven't dropped half the goddamn frames. Even though we're in a menu, I, I, I don't know how we do that. For fuck's sake! Thought I had this all sorted. Okay, this is huh, okay. Whatever. Now it's all sorted. <laughs> Took me three seconds to fix. <laughs> Alright. Good morning. Well, <laughs> Technically, it's morning. It's like 11.30 in the morning. I'm planning two streams today, clearly. Um, I got invited to a party by Johnny, so we're going to hop in. Is this one Johnny's in? Fuck. Can I add Johnny? Yeah, Johnny's been added. Speaking of Johnny. What's up? Hey, how's it going? How's it going, man? Haven't heard from you in a while. Does that mean have to be in Hong Kong? Pretty good. That's because I'm working, so I'm not busy working. I'm not like constantly on the road. Been there. And there. I work retail during the busiest time of year. I work. I don't work. I don't think I can count a distribution center as technically retail anymore. But I work at Target DC now, dude. Do you have a Karen screaming at you because the game that she spent $30 on had a boob? Have you had that happen? Dude, I work at GameStop. Of course I've had that happen. Sorry, don't buy a little thing with games, please. Dude, the one I love that is always fucking hysterical is the mom that's buying a game for their kid. Doesn't know anything about the game, and the kid hands her, like, Call of Duty or Gears of War. And I remember my coworker and I were laughing hysterically when they left, because she wanted the... The kid wanted Call of Duty, and she was like, well, is it a violent game? And I'll, <laughs> me and Dan just looked at each other and was like, yes, ma'am, it is an extremely violent game. You play as a military soldier in various operations in which you're shooting terrorists and other people. And she was like, I'm not buying you that. That's an extreme... That, that's too violent. And... <laughs> The kid had the audacity to be like, shut up, mom. Or, uh, she was like, don't worry, mom. They don't know what they're talking about. It's not violent. And we just looked at him like, you little shit. I've been playing Call of Duty since before. You were a fucking gleam in your dad's nuts. I've been playing Call of Duty since fucking GameCube. You know what that is, bitch? It's a cube that plays games. It was awesome. <laughs> So, so how you how, you gonna give me that uh GameStop exclusive and let me be able to pre-order me a PS5? No. Or let me be able to order me a PS5. The only thing I could do is the same thing I could do for literally anyone, which is to say, I know when pre-orders are going to be taken, and I can tell you when pre-orders are going to be taken for you to camp out at your local GameStop to put down a pre-order. That's that that's the extent of my ability. To which case, if you're interested, Black Friday. Yeah, dude, I'm just waiting for it. I'm not too hard up on it. Dude, I've, I've had people call the store, and when I tell them Black Friday, they were like, oh, cool, I'm going to camp out at noon. I'm like, okay. That's your choice, I guess. I don't know. Did you know in Warframe, they've got an idol, like, a fucking, uh, what are they called? The damn, uh, Sentinels? Not Sentinels. Ah, fuck the little floaty bastards that like to shoot laser death party at you that build up resistances on the moon. Uh, I believe Sentinels is the correct term for. Oh, it is. Yeah. Well, I ripped off their arm and I'm now using it as a weapon. Oh, that's dope. 
It's Dude. called the Shiru. It's called the Shiru. There's four pieces to it, but the thing is literally unlimited ammo. It regenerates ammo. You get seven shots, but it regenerates constantly enough that if you tap R2 and don't hold it down, you won't run out of ammo. And this is a weapon you have to craft, or you just pick it up when you kill one of them? You craft it. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. And then not to mention all of the fucking weapons from, uh, God, uh, how, how do I, uh, what are they called, fucking, it's like the new core and shit like that, you can get extra versions of them that actually go up to rank like 40. You've got a complete, um, Give me a second, I just ranked up fucking to rank 17. Um, Kuva Liches, that's what they're called. Like, I don't know how long it's been since you played Warframe, but I haven't played it for a while, and I just got back into it because some guys from work started uh, have been playing it. So I was like, fuck, I've got, I've got Warframe, what's up? And then it turns out, like, this motherfucker's soloing Eidolans. Sounds cool. So, yeah, like, Kuva Liches, they're fucking insane. You've got to get a whole separate, like, there's like a whole separate system to even be able to kill them. Not to mention that they start infecting the planet while you're trying to fight against them to discover. Like, the only way to kill them, you have to get three words of power, Grenier words of power. And then... Those three words of power have to also be in the right order, but there's not only three of the words of power. So you've got to sit here and complete nodes on the planet that they're infecting in order to discover what words of power ki are to be used on them. Then you've also got to acquire the words of power because they're acquired like mods. They're only temporary. You can only each use each one of them so many times, like on so like successfully. So many on so many Kuva liches, so like they go, you can use one three times, but once you kill that third Kuva lich with it, you have to go get another version of that word. Damn, I, I the entire time you've been talking, I've been systematically stabbing a shitload of Spartans. Uh, let's see, on top of that, like I said, each of those words, there's like nine different words. Three of the words will be used for whatever fucking uh, Kuvalich you're on. You gotta discover what words of power are right. And then, on top of that, they have to be in a specific order on the... F it's not a weapon, it's a separate little piece of equipment. It's called a Parazon. But they have to be in the specific... They have to be in the right order on that weapon in order to for it to be successful. If it's not successful... The Kuva Lich will level up. And if you do it like, I think, four or five times, if you fail it five times, your Kuva Lich is going to be like one, level 120, and it's a pain in the dick. Oh, but the true. new core, liter the, the Kuva new core literally wipes an entire fucking area. Oh, did I mention also... The Kuva weapons can be gotten multiple times, so you immediately get the weapon from the Lich whenever you kill it, if you kill the Lich. You can get multiple versions of, so like, I can, I've got a, Ku, a Condon Lore Kuva Nucor. So Condon Lore is the name of the Lich that I killed to get the Nucor. So if I go kill more Liches that have Nucors, like, if I go and acquire another Lich and do all the shit I have to do for it, and da 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 and get another li new core, I can combine that, take that new core, and combine it into the one that I've already got to make it more powerful. That sounds wicked. Dude, these Kuva weapons are fucking insane. The Fuck, only thing she does fucking insane. The last thing I did was, um... I explored the new planet and did the storyline on it. New planet. Oh, Deimos? Yeah. Yeah, dude. 
You need to look at these fucking Kubaliches. These motherfuckers are insane. That COVID Nucor dude, I swear. Like, Nucor is alright. This motherfucker affects, like, an entire area of enemies. If you power the son of a bitch up, literally nothing can get to you. Hmm. I'm talking from rank 1, I was able to go to wave, like, 10, 15 in a fucking defense, like... What level did the defense start at? I want to say, like... 15, 20. Yeah, that's nothing. It doesn't matter with a rank 1 weapon. Well, you can r still equip mods based off of your mastery rank. So, at a rank yeah, 1, I like still 17. have 21 mod slots. At, yeah, at a rank 1, I've still got 16, 17. It's enough to, well, with the... Uh, that's enough to put a serration in. Yes, but with the catalyst installed, it's still 32, and it's enough to put serration... It's enough to put barrel diffusion. Let's see, what is it? Serration. Because I'm leveling mine up. I've been, because uh, I've been leveling mine up. Like, before my hand. Um, it's enough to put hornet strike and barrel diffusion. Oh, it's a pistol. On right now. Yeah, it's the new core is a uh, secondary, and it fucks shit up like this. Yeah. Not to mention the fucking. Uh, ribbon mod that I've got on. I've been playing way too many different games, so to pick up another. Because <laughs> I've got Assassin's Creed Odyssey I need to beat, because I'm having fun with this. And there's the Call Dude, of Duty. Dude, I don't play, I don't play Warframe like that. I just get on it, do a couple of things, and then get up. I understand. But I've... I was... I understand. Fucking, uh, you bought Valhalla, didn't you? Yeah. I didn't know if it was you or another buddy of mine that I'm, I've got as a fucking account. Because I bought some games on his fucking account. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, honestly, it was games that I already Grand had, but I filed share with hero. you, so. Maybe one day there's going to be such with me. Yeah, do you know that there's actually not a lot of people soldiers? that know that you can file share on PlayStation? Hmm. It's apparently not very com common knowledge. I don't need a reason. <laughs> some more than some cowering dog. <laughs> but yeah, a buddy of mine was like, Hey, you should file share with me. Eh, I already file share with somebody, but I'll Bathing buy the game. The blood of this war so your account that I already have so we can play up together. The Polemarchos believe it's an easy victory. I will end this war. You have a strategy? Athenian Polemarchos are paralyzed like, with indecision. I've been fucking file sharing with you. We've been file sharing for what, three? And that's where you come two, in. three years now? Infiltrate their forts and kill three, the po four? I'll do my part. Consider Bring me their Athenian seals as proof. Somewhere around there? <laughs> I ain't fucking switching that shit anytime soon. <laughs> She was Sparta's Shit, last don't true hero. Fucking fix what I am We'd broke. all be under the yoke of the Persian Empire if it wasn't for his courage. Also, I have uh if you're interested. Um because I work at Call of or because I work at GameStop, they were like, yo, <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, <laughs> shut up, bitch. Because <laughs> I work because I work at Call of Duty. Wait, Rich, what? You enlisted? Uh so, so I work Dude, I work at GameStop. They sometimes just give us free games. Uh, I got Call of Duty Ultimate Edition for free. Nice. Fuck. That's like $100. What, as a download? <laughs> yeah. As a download? Damn. Fuck yeah. That's so badass. Our blood is the blood of kings. You are so much more than a mercenary. You carry the blood of heroes. That people would try to take that power. And then you prompt. I wouldn't let oh, them. Oh, how many of the newer frames have you seen? Not many. I, uh... Oh, I forget what the last shit. one I got was. I want Heidelin, but Heidelin oh, is so Hithia. stupid to get. Hithia, oh, yeah, no, it's retarded. Enough. I fucking got a 75% off of fucking of it. You talk about Hildren? 
Spartan Hogan. Will yeah, the shielded one. Oh if my god, dude, it is so broken spoken. against Corpus. Like, you had no what idea. You tell her to say. Yeah, because like, you can absorb just, shields. She has been your uh, yeah, it's just, they're long. just fucked. They're the time just has completely come to cut fucked. Her it don't even matter if they've got shields, to be honest. It's pretty, like, Kildren is actually pretty OP over. against everything with you their your fucking blood. ultimate. Just making shit float and give everyone else energy. It would spill to the ground and disappear through the cracks. You are no one. <laughs> like, it's just, like, Hildren does not you use any energy at all. He uses its shields. But its Your ultimate causes stuff to float in the air, like, uh, on Like Bastille. Us. And, uh, while it's floating, it just, you, it just drops energy orbs every so love. often. Everything you stand for. But, uh, did you know about the rework that they did to Bob on? No, what'd they do to Bob? Uh, such, such nice. Bob on is like so nice. Bob on is fucking just beautiful. Uh, so Bastille, the fourth ability. Still Bastille. But if you hold it down, you now get Vortex. It turns the Bastille into the Vortex. Now, do you understand? Instead of what it being a separate ability and just throwing down Vortex, Bastille and Vortex are now combined we don't one. Stop the cult And you now have your third ability is now called Photon Strike, and, for and you literally, it's an aerial strike. You throw down a little grenade, and then Big Boom comes from time the sky. Sounds well, dope. Well, well. Uh, it has Mon Pass, so its second ability is like Avara's second ability, God, where you can swap it between four different Mons. We're honored. You've got I was sorry one, to hear let's see, father. Tether Coil yes. immobilizes and groups Our enemies together, which has Tether's to all together. Uh, Fletch it or that motherfucker is insane. I went through the 15 waves with just that ability. Such a tragedy. It's an literally a turret. Because of an like, you throw it down law. and it just starts blasting shit in every direction. Ancient and merciless. Uh, Those Vector Pad throws you in walls. whatever direction. And you sound like you've been rubbing elbows with Athenian. I've and been to a symposium. Overdriver, <sighs> boot. Overdriver, you throw it at Sparta your allies and it increases their weapon damage. Lose. We're examples of by why these bit. laws must change. Mine's at like 30 oh, I agree. Mine increases but by 32%. But King Archidamus, if he could carve Spartan law across the chest of every citizen, he would. And then, uh, instead of Tesla, spent my okay, so you remember the Tesla walls, shoulders. like, you throw if down Sparta two of them, and they'll link again. together with electricity, I'd right? I'd rather it be a peaceful one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, now <laughs> it's Tesla Nervos. When Spartans These, it throws down a roller drone and when that they're not attaches killing Athenians, to enemies, they're declaring war and on their deliver, own people. And but we're not here to talk about the dead, are we? No Sparta reclaimed you can throw down like after what happened to my father in Megaris. <laughs> we want actually it no. Back. It says I can Mind throw down tongue, child. It says as fourteen. You may charges. not live in Sparta anymore, but I'm still well, your no, king. How many charges? I we think you can have up to four of these orbs, with you and, king and then it'll shock ship up to fourteen times. But you can literally just fling them down. The cheap as fuck to throw. There is nothing I'd want more. Archidamus, but Vauban's like still rework hasn't is forgiven you for the whole overpowered. nose incident. What can we do to sway him? There's rumor of a Illot rebellion and the Crepti are stalking the flames, savagely killing Illots, stealing livestock, uh, and leaving the Crepti represents the Sparta's uh, ultimate achievement in military training. Their discipline and fearlessness make Sparta once, but the Crepti have become corrupt and bloodthirsty. And I'll training boys to kill unarmed okay. peasants is nothing to be proud of. Do you want your home back or not? Oh, oh they reworked fucking Good. Wukong. So the illots we Wukong. know. That one I know. His first ability is just amazing now, because you just have a clone constantly. I know, it's so nice. Oh my god, if you use that motherfucker and, and you just go in with your sword and you have a fucking be found nuke force, that clone is so overpowered. Was assigned to but, the Spartan leader's house. but Excalibur, he was Umbra, last seen in one of the is fucking insane with a nuke He's definitely the loudest. All you have to do with Excalibur Umbra, if you, uh, you can make your operator pretty damn well fucking godly. 
If so if you Kitsia equip get that home the back. Excalibur Umbra and then just go into operator mode, Excalibur Umbra will just pilot itself and use whatever yeah. weapons you have equipped. And if you have like a new core or Shidu or something, literally you pop so into fucking operator form and just stand there and let way. Umbra take care of like twenty waves him. by itself. Killing his Kryptia create conflict between human Arsenios. <coughs> I am risking. I should let Cassandra finish speaking. There you are. I can take you in to see the uh, kings Grindle. when you're ready. Grindle is actually pretty fun. Being able to eat enemies. What do I need to know before? Pretty much what it does. Ah, they right. reworked Atlas, mm -hmm. I think. I've met well. Papsanias. King Papsanias. Kings Papsanias and Archidamos share rulership. Press them both. And your home I didn't expect yeah, this. Yeah, they made the uh the rumblers for uh Atlas whenever the uh golem dis like collapse <laughs> the pile of rubble that they they leave a pile of rubble behind that you can stand on to heal. That's cool. Oh, and when you summon them, it petrifies enemies that are close to you. That's... that's even cooler. Um, petrify now fossilizes foes, heals rumblers, and creates bulwarks. <sighs> yeah. Create petrified bulwarks. When shattered in... When shattered, petrified enemies drop healing rubble for Atlas. Don't understand how rocks are gonna heal, but whatever. To each their own. It's Atlas. <laughs> I should try to stay up. Uh, there is Atlas from. I've got a bar from. So that's fun. Uh, there's also Limbo Prime, and Limbo Prime's base armor set. The way Limbo Prime looks, it's a pimp named Limbo. A pimp named Limbo now. Like, he's just got a fucking pimp hat. Like, that's just his natural look. Fucking great. Motherfucker told, looked up, this motherfucker's like, Do you have Atlas Prime? Or do you have, uh, Limbo Prime? No, no, it's a pimp name Limbo. What do you mean? He fucking busts it out and says it's pimp name Limbo. I'm like, oh, okay. Quadra kill. A fifty percent off. A fifty percent off. If you've got like ninety plat, you can blow up me, then I can buy you children. Okay, is pretty cool. I don't have her yet. Wisp I've seen is pretty cool. Don't you have her. Revenant sucks.
like I said, I just got Shidu a little bit ago. It cost me... It's about 20 plat per part, so in total it's 80 plat for Shidu. Because the blueprint, I don't know where I got the fucking blueprint from, but I just got the blueprint. I think it was just a reward. This room so I, you pro So if you've logged in and played at all, really, since uh, they added Shidu, you probably already have the blueprint. But the parts themselves, I don't really know how to farm them. I've just seen the weapon enough that I knew I wanted it, so I was like, fuck, I've got the blueprint, I just need the part. 20 plat a piece. I have Death's horse, or Ares' horse, sorry, I should say. You've been playing Odyssey over... I want to complete the story before I jump into Valhalla. Mm. It'll be fun, though, because with Valhalla, I know how to read Nordic runes. At least somewhat. Oh, Valhalla is so fucking good. Compared to Odyssey, compared to fucking... Dude, since fucking Black Flag. That's what a lot of people Valhalla. have been saying, actually, is that it's Valhalla so is better than Black Flag, or as good as. As good as, definitely. My thing is, is I've never been huge on the naval combat. I like that, the fact that there's a good mix of both in Valhalla. Like, I actually like the fucking, re the combat itself feels smoother, more streamlined compared to the other ones that have been coming out. It like, is interesting, given the, uh, the serious change they made with Origins, but honestly, that's, it got me back interested. Origins was a serious change, but they just did not have it smoothed over. It was clunky compared in com comparison to the other games. Odyssey helped it a lot, and honestly, uh, honestly, Odyssey I liked more than Origins, but Valhalla. Fucking mint. Yeah, I'll get to it when I get to it. Have you finished off the, uh, the underwater, uh, fucking the Atlantis shit for, uh, Odyssey? Nope. You should do that side of story. At least that one. It's really good. PS4 games, like, what all can you play? On the 5? Yeah. 99%. Really? So if I bought a 5 right now, it'd just be like having a new PS4 and just be able to play all my games? Uh, I have all my games saved on my external hard drive. When I plugged it from the 4 into the 5, they were like, you have 88 games installed. <laughs> Hell yeah! That's what I like to hear! So I ain't gotta download shit. I just plug that motherfucker in. I've got like 150 games. I'm good. Disc-based games need to be re-downloaded because they need to be installed from the data on the disc. Yeah, of course. Point is, is I won't have to re-download any of the shit that I have on my hard drive that did not need to be. I should watch my step. I'll start getting, I think I'm gonna start trying to go to sleep at a decent fucking time. I need to, and then that way I can fucking... Cause, I guess I woke up at like 10 o'clock. This week is gonna be so fucking stressful, so... Oh. And then we 
open at 7 in the fucking morning on Black Friday. That's when I park. Yeah, but how many people are actually going to show up for fucking Black Friday sales with Corona? Uh, with the PS5 and the Xbox One apparently supposed to be in the store for Black Friday? <laughs> Quite Mommy a few. And daddy don't want to get Corona. I don't give a fuck what they say. Mommy and Daddy. Yeah, don't you corona. say that, but motherfucker, I work retail. I've seen the lines outside of my store being like, y'all motherfuckers need to like back off each other. And they're like, nah. I'm not giving up my spot in line. I'm like, you don't have to give up your spot in line. Just don't be humping each other. Bit, fuck. Gotta start having babies in the goddamn GameStop lot. Game and that's outside the GameStop. honestly the, the big concern there is the fact that we're probably going to deal with dozens, if not hundreds, of people on Friday, and uh, the chances of one, at least one of them being infected is fucking high. <coughs> Very. So it's going to be a case of uh, you know. I normally don't wear gloves, I just use hand sanitizer every now and again. It's like, nah, I'm... I want to be gloved and shit for this. Come in a fucking hazmat suit. I wish. Can't go that far, but I will have the mask on as always, and I, I plan on putting on gloves and just changing out my gloves every now and again. Because the other important rule is, is that if you have gloves on, don't touch your face or body ever. I don't know, uh, we wear masks at the DC, but not, we have to wear them if we're going to be within six, working within six foot of other, but I run machinery, I don't work within six foot of anyone. Yeah, I mean, that's true there. You don't really have to worry as much about masks if you're not dealing with people. I, I work retail. I have people. Usually, we yeah, six not to me not somewhere. to mention work, not to mention working retail. You're not only dealing with people. You're dealing with different people every like ten minutes. So it's not always the same set of people. It's like could be anyone. I've only got to deal with people that get hired. Now, here's going to be some bad news for you there, Johnny. Uh, I don't know if the PS5 allows for game sharing the way the PS4 does. Uh, I, I need to log in to your account to be able to test that. Have you not tested it yet with Destiny and stuff? Uh, well, I can tell you right now, I don't have your account on this PlayStation. Uh, but I don't have the Destiny DLC. But I know that on PS4, I did. DLC came from my account. I think you bought Destiny to yourself, though. Yeah. So in theory, you should be able to just log into my account real quick and then start up Destiny, and it should be good. Yeah, that's that's the plan there. Because there is no uh, set account as the primary on 
the PS5. Oh, really? Not that I'm aware of. Could it be that you just don't have multiple accounts on your PlayStation 5? No, I, I already have two. Uh, well, the other one doesn't have any games on it, so I haven't been able to properly test it. I need to actually add another account with games. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I got your info somewhere. Say again? Well, uh, whenever, it was like a couple of days before, uh, they actually released. I came across a pile of shit that I needed to fucking take over to Zone 9. Zone 9 is all the technology, so it's million dollar stuff. It's cases with like 60 games in it. Shit like that. Sounds like the shit that I open at work. <laughs> yeah, essentially. But for Target. But um, I came across a pallet needed to be took to Zone Nine. I came across three of them. Well, I was what is going on out there? taking them, and I was, and I, was, I, I, I had to stop other traffic and shit. And I looked up at the shit I'm carrying, and I'm like, that box says Sony. I wonder what the fuck it is. So I'm like, well, fuck it. I went and opened one of them. The fucking two PS5 box. I'm like, does that mean this entire pallet? And I'm looking, looking. Oh god, there's like six boxes on this motherfucker. Oh god, there's 120 PS5s on this fucking one pallet. Holy shit! I was like, damn it, if I could only kill. Yeah, no, it's not worth my job. I uh, I was like fuck it. I already have a pre-order. I I don't need to steal a PlayStation. It would be really hard to get up. Well, and in the words of my coworker, don't steal anything that isn't worth your career and then every career after, because if you have a black mark for stealing, you're not going to be trusted anywhere. That's why it was hilarious fucking working Black Friday last year. I had a, a fucking big ass deposit to drop off. I was like, cool. So I dropped off the deposit. <laughs> and someone was like, oh man, you had the, the money from all of Black Friday? You should have just tried to dip out with that. And I'm like, no. I wouldn't, there, there wasn't, uh, I'd have to make millions in order to even think about that because the problem is, is the fact that there's a fuckload of shit that needs to get done, you know? <laughs> it's a case of if I steal, I'm going to have a black mark on my record and can't work pretty much any job. Probably going to go to jail. Um, like, there's just, there's not enough money in it. I'm not even gonna risk losing my job and all that shit. Fuck that noise. Over fucking little bit of cash that you can make and then not have to go to jail or some shit? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. That's why it's like, nah, I, I, I'm, I'm good where I am. I like what I do. I'm not gonna I'm risk good. losing that job. See, that's where I am right now. Honestly, the DC. 
I don't think I've worked for a company that cares more about their employees than fucking Target, dude. I really don't. That is not the impression I've gotten from people who work retail at the stores. Uh, the Target stores, I don't know. But, dude, uh, I'll be honest, considering all the stuff they offer us at the DC and they offer it to Target employees overall, um, that must be a management issue. Because Target overall, dude, like, if I get fucking, if I get depressed and I call the fucking hot, like, they're, they've got a hotline for doctors for you to be able to call in and talk to a doctor over the phone to discuss your symptoms. If I call this hotline and tell them I'm severely depressed, I need a break, work is stressing me out, they will give me days off paid just for that. Damn. That's that's a sick benefit right there. Like that's just one thing, dude. Hmm. I had two I had a week and a half. I had a week off because my aunt got corona. That might be more of a medical thing where they were like, "Hey, uh, how about you don't show up just in case you go visit your aunt? Fuck that. I noise. To dude, dude, I told them that I hadn't been to visit her in a while. It's been, it had already been like a week and a half since I had fucking talked to her. Like, the virus only lasts about two weeks. Three to 14 days symptoms will appear. Yeah. So that's the point is I was out for a week paid. Because my aunt caught <laughs> I can use the app to refer people. I can use the yeah. app to fucking request time off. I can use the app to fucking get my overtime. Every day that I work, I have another app. It's called Daily Pay. Every day that I work, that Daily Pay app is refreshed. <laughs> And if say I need, oh shit, I need gas, oh god, I ain't got nothing in my account right now, but I've worked three days. Well, I can pull out half of what I've made in those three days and have it sent directly to my bank account. Like, before payday, before anything, I can pull out money already. Like, I don't really use that one, but I know a lot of people that do, and I guess if I do, it, it is there. But, yeah, like, overall, Target, dude, my, my fucking Lasix, my, um, the fucking shit to get my eyes fixed is like $5,000, or over $5,000. The point is, it's $2,500 per eye. Without insurance. Um... So the insurance for the Target will pay for like 60-70%, but Target has another program through Target itself where Target themselves pay for uh, the majority, for a major part is uh, what it really says, but a major part in any major surgery. And they'll give you Whatever time is required to heal from the surgery, they will pay you for that time. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Dude, like, I have not seen benefits from a company like this since I was trying to fucking get on with the fucking IBEW in North Carolina. And that's a fucking union. Like, I've never, I, dude, it tripped me the fuck out when I went for orientation for this, for fucking Target D, for the Target. <coughs> and the work isn't that bad e <coughs> either. <coughs> <coughs> either <coughs> with me running machinery but even before <laughs> I was running machinery <coughs> it wasn't that bad 
<coughs> the only work, the, like the only real bad ones is if you're order picking inside the warehouse part instead of the brake pack area. If you're order picking over there, a lot of the shit's heavier. And then inbound and outbound, you're either loading or unloading a truck. Like those kind of suck. <coughs> but other than that, most job functions inside there, I've not really had a problem out of. Hell, I'm on the track. I'm on track to fucking be a trainer and everything. Trainer for equipment. Fuck, half the OMs at the Target DC know me at this point. That's a good and a bad thing. But yeah, overall, th dude, I, honestly, my target target job looking pretty fucking good for, for for a good long while. So I mean, I should be pretty much set to be able to stay on stay online for now on. It's good to hear things are looking up for you. Well, I don't get up every day and fucking like fuck. I gotta go to work. It's more. Fuck, I gotta go to work! Fuck, 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 fuck! Better than it was at MDR, like, getting up and dragging my ass to work. So, I mean... It's nice to like your job. On top of that, all for eighteen dollars an hour. So, like, I have to work. I have to work mandatory overtime every. I say, like this weekend was Saturday and Monday. I had to work. Next weekend, I'll have to work Sunday, and then the next weekend after that, I'll be off all weekend. Ready to meet the kings? But honestly, I usually volunteer Waiting for at, won't least make this easy. Two, at least a day, if not two days every weekend. <laughs> God damn, I'm a dumbass. Another two squadrons to be a tear, then, as I said. Is that how they solve arguments? Sometimes. Archivamos and at some point, I'll start accruing fucking vacation you. time. And then you come <coughs> once I save up about That's a week's it. worth. My king. I only need like four May days. I present Marini, descendant of Leonidas, <coughs> and our daughter four Cassandra. Days a week. But uh, there you <coughs> show your face in Sparta. Cassandra helped me secure Corinthia. Once I king. save up four days, she I can start taking fucking vacations to different states. They want shit. what's best for so Sparta. So I'm gonna come visit you. I beg you. I gotta go listen. back out towards Let's Arizona and visit to Cole again, mainly because the palace floor. Arizona was Speak, fucking fantastic. Mary. Why are you gotta you go here? to Florida I have for Demi. To reclaim my you gotta go to Georgia for Brandon. To our home. Why are you visiting Exiled people? Yourself. Your daughter killed an elder and ran. Not to mention the well, crooked like I said, dude, I just want to take vacation. My family was betrayed, my king. <laughs> go visit Sparta was betrayed. States. We've come to expose Like, once I start getting my vacation time and everything, you like, haven't cared for I kind of enjoyed the trip out, out to Arizona that I took. So, like, I kind of want to go to other places. Then blame me. I killed the elder. I started all of this. I'm not like, sure. Fuck, that Arizona trip, I made that with two honesty. people in fucking two days. You for the crime, just confess. Uh. Marini has made her intentions known. My 
My intentions are to hunt down those who betrayed my family and Sparta. And kill them. And who exactly did That's what I'm here to find out. First, prove yourself. Bring glory to Sparta. And redeem yourself in the eyes of the gods. Until then... Tell me what I must do. The Spartan army fights the Athenians in Viotia. Join the commanders there. Consider the battle... Spoken with the confidence of a child who hasn't seen real war. You will find my commander out of Mount Helicon. Not so fast. Two kings, two times. Heracles completed twelve. Two shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> First Spartan thing you've said all day. The Olympics will be starting <coughs> soon in Elise, and our fighting champion... You want me to be an... E I want you to make sure the Spartan... <coughs> That's how she'll bring glory to Sparta? Not an event, my king. By making sure Sparta... You have your orders. We'll see you when your tasks are... If they're cool. I'll get them done. <coughs> There's some Spartan left in you after us. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, fuck both of these dudes. <coughs> I will be kind of sad if we can't fucking file share. Because if they just completely take that fucking functionality away from PlayStation that 3, it well. PlayStation 3 Considering you still have fucking share with like five shoulders. people. Yes. I'd say it went very well. The kings were generous. <coughs> PlayStation 4 was all one. I have to do. Now they're going to the completely take it from Is there anything you need to fuck? know before? It ain't like I already have to spend fucking thousands on PlayStation. One of the kings is a cultist. So one of these tasks is surely a trap. Arasidas? Wouldn't say that with an earshot of the palace. I know I've got fucking bacon I've fought bacon with both something. of them. We need to find proof before we make any accusation. I think I'm ready. I received a message just before. What kind of message? A clue to the whereabouts of another cultist. Alone. The fates are smiling on us. I would... That would be helpful. I'll meet you both in Arcadia then. Alright, well, I just got like three new quests. <sighs> What's this quest want me to go? There. Alright, well, I have a fast travel point, not too far. It is mildly upsetting. After playing uh, Ghost of Tsushima and being able to fast travel to any place you've been to, and then jumping back into Assassin's Creed, and you can only fast travel to the synchro points, and then you have to ride your horse. Yeah. It's just, it's quicker for the flow of combat and the flow of gameplay if you can just jump in and keep going. Speaking of jumping in and keep going, Dude, I've been playing Demon Souls on the PS5. That shit loads in like four seconds. It's beautiful. You said black. What play? What loads in four sec? What loads in four seconds? Demon Souls. Oh, how is that? Uh, fun but difficult as usual. Um. One, the, the big thing that I, uh, has me a tad bit upset is the fact that when it comes to the actual, like, level design, it has me annoyed because you can fight your way through all of the enemies all the way to the boss, and then if you die at the boss, you have to fight your way through everything again. Okay. Um, question, though, do you lose, like... Do you lose like your ability points or what? I'm not sure how the game works. So it's it's uh, just like Dark like Souls. You just lose your souls. Is. You have to if you have to pick up your blood stain again. Okay, so I mean, technically fighting back through them to pick up your blood stain would allow you to have double the amount of souls and have the possibility of making yourself more powerful. Yeah, but at the like same time, like you that. you're already dealing with a boss fight. You don't want to have to deal with the stress of also potentially losing your blood stain. Yeah, but, I mean, Dark Souls. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, with Dark Souls uh, 3... Dark Souls is meant to stress you out. Yeah, so. but Dark Souls 3 had, like, the level design where if you fight through the area, 
you can open up a shortcut that in some okay. way lets you get to Wait, the boss so there's no easily. Shortcuts? No, there's no shortcuts. Okay. See That's running through what I mean. Dark Souls area once with shortcuts. Back up that bit. Running through an entire Dark Souls area. Twice. Every time you no die. Shortcuts. Or yeah, every time you oh god. Like I said, tough. <laughs> that just sounds annoying. It is a tidbit. Like, fuck. Yeah. Um, like, uh, the damn... Oh, fuck. The Aldrich Faith area without the damn power shortcut to go up to the fucking... Fuck. Fuck no. No, fuck dude, that. it's Demon Souls. Whole new game. Like... But that's what that's what I'm saying though is like I can imagine like from I'm imagining like Dark Souls area have not played it so it's like Dark Souls but then without the True. shortcuts and then I'm just thinking like fuck there's that tower shortcut in Aldridge Faith area that keeps you from having to go all the way back up and around through fucking seven goddamn great foes and oh yep. fuck. Oh, well, fuck, going that well see that's the thing because over over. Oh, Dark Souls fuck. 3 ups the difficulty like in terms of the enemies what they do where they are how many you fight and stuff they how added the shortcuts to allow you to get back to where you died at as opposed to having to fight through everything over again so it's designed to be difficult because of that specific factor it's they can make it tougher because having those different shortcuts allows you to get back to the combat quicker as opposed to Demon Souls, where it's kind of placed out all over the place. So, question. Can I ask you? You're on your PlayStation right now, right? Yep. PlayStation 5. Can I ask you to try SharePlay? Um, I'm streaming right now. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm fucking curious. Curious as fuck whether if yeah. like if you use SharePlay, could I play a new game on PlayStation 4 while you're on PlayStation 5? Oh, you mean log into your account? No. No, not even. Like oh, part, share SharePlay. Play. SharePlay. You take control of the system. Yeah. Okay. From my PlayStation 4. Yeah. Like I'm wondering if that would work. I have no idea. I'm curious. I'm just severely curious. My next question, no oh, mighty GameStop employee, I'm when is Ratchet and Clank coming out? You. I don't fucking know. Stunter? Damn it. <laughs> Why would you take that punch? What? Malakas. What? I'm here to help, you idiot. Not after Megaris. Not after what you did. King Archidamos of Sparta sent me to aid you in securing the region. <coughs> this is how much he trusts me. He put his faith in a fucking mercenary. The gods are punishing me with your... If I was your punishment, you... Why have the king sent you? Stentor, relax. I'm here as an ally to Sparta. Your help in Megaris might have secured the region for Sparta, but I lost more than I gained. I shouldn't have trusted you then. You should thank the gods that I've come to. The only reason you're still alive is that the writ you carry. You're not an ally. J then put me to work. You're not up to it. Try me. <sighs> there are four Viodian champions fighting for the Athenians. I think you can kill them. I told you we could work here. All right, then. I'll find... I doubt it will be as easy as you think. The sooner I get this done... All right, well, I have to find and assassinate four champions of the area. This is gonna be fun. Where are they hiding? Oh, found one. Wait, do they each have their own quest now? Oh, fucking Christ almighty, they do. 
All right. Nearest fast travel location to this one. It's gonna be here. Oh God! Fucking Christ with this quest line. Here's two people to talk to. They're gonna each give you a quest. Oh, cool. I have to go help take back the area. Oh, but before that guy can trust you, you have to do his quest. Hmm. I don't know why they're trying to pan out gameplay in an open world game with a lot of fucking worlds. Like, I had... This is episode, like, 24, and every episode is, like, three hours or longer. Like, I enjoy this game, and I love the exploration. The quest design is fucking dog shit. Oh, an odyssey? Yeah. Go to a place, stab a person. Go to a place, stab a person. Go to a place, stab a person. You did that thing I, I wanted you to do. Thank you. Here's the information you're after. Alright, cool. I have the information. Now what do I do? Uh, you have to go to talk to this person because they have more information. Alright, talk to that person. Oh, I don't trust you. You're going to have to go to several places and stab several people. It's like, can we not do this right now? Fuck. Well, if their AI has them following the road, they will run right to me. Hi. Uh, can, 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 can we not? Can we not right now? Thank you. That was wild, but whatever. Oh, she's a cultist. Well, she's very dead now. I just stabbed her in the ass. Oh, nice. Amazon creeps. Don't mind if I do. And 46,000 XP. And she's a cultist. Fuck yeah. Well, let's me know I'm on the right track. Where, where was she? Uh, in this one? My dad <laughs> played the shit out of Odyssey. And honestly, uh, he got kind of screwed over. There is one occultist that appears on a specific ship and it didn't appear on, it, he didn't appear on the ship for my dad but that ship only appeared the once and once you defeated it it never really appeared it never appeared again hmm. wild so there's just one occultist he cannot kill in this game that sucks and he's completed literally almost everything else in the game except for that that blows Alright, so where's the next one? Dracon, uh, used like, frequent gymnasium of Thebes. Th in Greece. Like, this is how bad it is? Imagine Nick's level of OCD if he could not, if he was, that one occultist was keeping him, I think that one occultist keeps my dad from getting the platinum for Odyssey, actually. Hmm, wouldn't surprise me. So, like, my dad is just, like, so fucking angry. He will not fucking touch that game. <laughs> I oh, have to go to the bathroom. I shall return in a sec. Alright. As soon as the game actually loads so that I can pause it properly.
coming back. Give me two seconds. Had to check something with a flashlight. Johnny, you still there? Yeah. I was going to say, I, I, you're definitely still there because I can hear the echo. All right. How far did your father get with the uh, the bounty hunters? I'm about to look right now. Uh, yeah, he's at eighty-five percent of the trophies. So he didn't get all of the underwater location objectives. He didn't upgrade the spear to six. Defeat all the cultists. Well, Wait, upgrading the, the spear requires you, requires you kill all the cultists. Yeah. So, yeah, he couldn't get any of those. Recover the Cyclops' eye from the coat on Kefalonia. If you're level 50, and you can kill the Cyclops. It's pretty easy. He just probably hasn't went for it. And Xenia's quest line. The cultist thing, he stopped playing it because of that. Like, he was just done. Yeah, it's hard to set up with be upset. He, he essentially so how far in what locked. did did he make it? Huh? So what are you ask? What did you ask? How far he made it in what? Uh, bounty hunter. You'd have to actually load up the game. I don't think that's a trophy you can look up though. Yeah, then I I don't really know. Become champion of the arena, yeah, and he has the level 50 trophy. Uh, level 50 is not the max level. Uh, I know that, but I'm saying he has the level 50 trophy, so he's at least level 50 to win after the second. Yeah, I was a little bit surprised, because when you level up for the, like, just leveling through the game, bounty hunters keep coming after you, no matter what level you are. They are around your level. Um... And I kept getting hit with bounty hunters. Uh, the level 50 bounty hunter is a cult member, which was surprising. Well, actually not really. Uh, and then also on top of that, there is the... Uh, what's that called? That fucking threw me completely off. There was... Uh, fucking... As soon as I finally hit the max level... And was like, all right, cool. I'm good, right? I'm I'm at the max level. <laughs> you went one more higher. Yeah, I was like, all right, I'm at the max level. I've killed all of the bounty hunters, so I am tier one. I am the highest tier. And then they were like, you're wrong, bitch. Now there's S one, two, three, and four. I was like, damn, Fuck. I didn't know about that. Yeah, I have no idea how far my dad made it with it. I didn't make it far. I still plan to maybe, hopefully, eventually play Odyssey. And since I can play it on the 5 and it'll load faster and shit, it might be alright. But I'm going to be real honest with you. I'm really looking forward to some Final Fantasy on the 5. So what, Final Fantasy 16? Well, Final Fantasy 16, the new Ratchet and Clank, and Final Fantasy 14. Oh yeah, you're right. I haven't played 14 on this thing. 14. Oh my god, those load times. <sighs> Just turn on. Turn on all visual effects. And no lag. Where does this quest want me to go? Dracon used to frequent. The fucking map. No, it wants me to go to the gymnasium of Thebes. Some people at the Agora of <coughs> Thebes may also know more about him. So I have to actually talk to people. Cool. I don't know what the Agora is. I'm not gonna lie. Damn, you said you were streaming. I was gonna say, get jump on my account real quick. See if you got the uh, DLC. Cedar House. For uh, Destiny. Like, 
Like, I'm working on getting... Dude, I've already... I found out... There's a couple of missions I've found out about. There's a fucking exotic sniper uh, from one mission that you get by completing... By uh, unlocking your abilities for stasis. You've got to do missions. And these mi doing these missions gets you stuff, gets you the abilities, but also unlocks access to certain exotic missions. And then Varric's also doing the stuff for him to increase... Uh, how much of a certain destination material that you get, or how fast you acquire it, uh, the one those also unlock some exotic missions. Sounds dope. I honestly want to keep playing, but I don't have access to the DLC anymore, and I have too many other things to play. But that's a fun, it, it's honestly, it's fun to play off stream. What, Destiny? Yeah. At this point, because it's nothing but grinding. The story was cool, but. I mean, certain things, the raid and shit like that, are stream worthy, but yeah, mostly just fun to do. The story would have been, but fuck it, I already completed it, I don't care. You completed the stasis one? Yes. They won't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. Did you unlock stasis? Yes. Wait, so how did you... Oh, so wait, you made it up to uh, 1,200 and damn... Okay. I was going to say, look at my... I don't remember what I left my hunter at, but I was playing the new DLC and shit. I was hoping you did your warlock or the titan, not your hunter. I, I wanted to see what that kind of shit that fucking they unlock. But yeah, your stasis, stasis abilities unlock with the uh, quest. I haven't unlocked like, any of the abilities. I've just done the uh, the story and gotten the basic abilities. Yeah, like this one unlocks dusk filled grenade, and then. Uh, I'm gonna just start murdering fuckers until this guy shows up. Shatter dive and dusk field grenade. But I had to com to complete the aspect of control. I had to complete the mission for from the drifter for that uh, stasis prototype, the grenade launcher. I have that. I haven't completed it. Yeah, it's an exotic It's an exotic stasis grenade launcher. I do not fucking like them. <laughs> Fuck that thing. That thing sucks. Sucks dick. In Crucible? That motherfucker would probably get you. Come you. To that that motherfucker would probably Is that how you greet? Fun you. I'm sorry. It'd be cool if you could the freeze soldiers have entire the soldiers take fucking what they want. Only the best team of people with it. But overall, I feel the same about my we did everything dick. together. He do anything for me. <laughs> I need him back to cart my shipments. Once Dracon finds out I can't get him his oil. Dracon? The vi He's my biggest cast. I'm trying to hunt him. Save me from Dracon's wrath. Find my spirit. If you need him so badly, be quick. Now, please. saying I can that, only imagine I've got the quest for the new him? sword they must called have him at the military camp, East of Snakehead Rock. It's and I've seen this sword in action. The barrier champions, the all the annoying he ass motherfuckers. To his yeah, this sword don't give no Ithlenia fucks sacrifice. about their damn barriers. It can fucking deactivate them. All of them. Looks like I have a horse to find. What would I do to see you? Fucking insane. Fucking great. That new sniper rifle? I have no idea what the fuck that does. Never seen it, but I seen it as the potential reward. One for moment, Johnny. The dude yeah. Kind of shoved me into. No, thank you. I fucking despise chili. Anyway, go on. But yeah, like this it, it dude was like, "Hey, make me leave." I'll tell because he helped me out with the exo mission I needed to do for part of that lament quest. So he was like, make me lead, I'll take us into a mission. 
Okay, well, fuck, you helped me finish that one. Fuck, I'll help you go do whatever, at least one mission, fuck. Whatever. He puts it, puts the mission up, and I look at the fucking reward for it, and it has, like, an exotic as a rare potential reward. I'm just like, what? It messages, it has a chance to drop the uh, new exotic sniper rifle. What? There's a new exotic sniper rifle? <laughs> Like, I was thinking I could look at all this shit in my collections, and it's like, I've never... It, that, that motherfucker doesn't even have a slot in my collection. Did you lose your Pankration match? Worse. I lost my one true love. So my it's just a hidden fucking else. weapon. I just know it. He avoids me. Maybe there's... I can't leave this up to the queens of Tihi. I won't let... Then what's your plan? I'm like, going to the make sword is even there, but I didn't, I've not on seen this, this fucking sniper simple. rifle. I'll borrow his precious armor for a few days. Oh, Cut nope, the inside no, there for and let the potion see yeah. through his skin. So, Drakon will be left without his armor. Oh, Precision he's final the strongest, blows generate most a lightning bolt man in at the My problem is the last ingredient. I need to buy the rarest Heaven Biotia from my herbalist. But she hasn't come to Thebes in a while. I can find her for you. Thank you. Thank Where will I find this? Her she lives on a farm west of the city. Near the... And Stormbringer. Tell me how you met. It it's a tale for the ages. I moved to Thieves of Dreams of becoming a great champion. I came to this gym and saw him. A mighty warrior with even a... Overall, it looks fucking cool. If he's not here... Normally, we're both here night and day. The only time he leaves is to... I'll go find that... The new shotgun, Duality. Have you tried that? Don't have it. I got it. It's just gonna go to the fuse. What? It's just a part of the fucking... Battle pass thing. Don't have the battle Never. pass. I thought it just gave it to you on the base one, maybe because I bought the fucking DLC. I believe the battle pass is account bound uh, by Bungie, not by PlayStation. Okay. Pretty sure I had to buy uh, the battle pass last year as well. Or last well, season. So, the shotgun, duality, uh, that motherfucker is amazing. When did this Thank the gods you're here. A hunting so party been if you're in hip fire mode, the if, the you're in hi deep if you're hip fire mode, it, it this man it saw dead bodies, but he could still hear if screaming. You if you scope in, it shoots it as a slug. If they weren't ready to face Sounds the like, the uh, what's it called? Hunting. The Mastiff out of Nature's Apex Legends. Kind to those who I need you to go and rescue uh, whoever is still alive I and guess. put an end to the dangerous beast that attacked Hip fire, it shoots a five shots widespread right. and then I'll ADS, the it'll put all five down range. If they are, bring yeah, them back to me and I'll do what I can. That's what it does. But pellet, so if it. you kill enemies with the spread, <sighs> It gives you a stacking precision damage and reload speed buff. And precision hits with the slugs extend the duration of it. That does sound awesome. I do, however, because I did get your information... I do have the no time to explain pulse, and I do like the change they made to it. This area will be well I enjoy it. But they've come a long way with exotics from back then, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, back then it used to just be a case of you get the bullet back in the mag. Now, not only do you get the bullet back in the mag for a precision hit, you also, if you do it ten shots, get a fucking wormhole that opens up and fires bullets. And it just auto fires that shit, which is pretty cool when you're reloading. However, it only works based off of when you aim it, which is kind of annoying. Um. Also, these exotic ciphers can be used now to get like old 
uh, raid weapons and shit too. Did you know that? No. Yeah, you. G I plan to end up getting uh, the one from the Earth raid called Anarchy because uh, it's Tesla grenade. But I have already acquired Lumina because I never completed that fucking quest. Um, it's pretty fucking nice. It's essentially unlimited ammo. Like, never reload unlimited ammo. AR, I'm assuming? Uh, no. Hand cannon. And it heals your, and you can heal your allies with oh, it. Oh yeah, Lumina, duh. How is that unlimited ammo? Every time you uh, absorb a remnant, it reloads it. How do you get remnants to spawn? Shoot them in the face. So precision kills make them appear. But you have to run no, over them kills. to pick it up. Kills. Kills makes them appear, and they're... There's like a range on them, and they'll just absorb and come to you. Must be what's left of the. So you don't have to aim for them. You just have to walk near them. But yeah, essentially unlimited ammo. Plus you can fucking fire, uh, fire it to shoot the healing. I don't have Thorn either. Oh, do you not? Nope. Thorn's fucking great. Uh, Thorn, whenever you kill stuff with it, they leave behind, it leaves behind remnants as well. And the remnants for this one... So Thorn's almost unlimited ammo as well, by the way. Because it does the same, basically the same thing. But instead of being able to heal your allies, it strengthens the mark of the devourer, which is the poison. Yeah, you can get a lot of the old weapons through the exotic ciphers. You can get one exotic cipher a week from, uh, fucking Zer. But you can only hold one exotic cipher. And the exotic cipher you get from Zer is a mission to get an exotic cipher. Mm. Should be careful. High security here. Uh, and the new exotic raid launcher. is essentially Gallerhorn from what I heard. It's called Eyes of Tomorrow. What does it do exactly? Uh it's tracking rockets. Uh, I feel and faint. So imagine the other ro imagine work clip coil if uh, the rockets track. That's pretty much it. But it's basically the Galler. It's basically Galler Horn. When did this happen? Today. What were they doing out there? Hunting 
has a patient. He'll survive if... If? This man is a monster. He's a slave trader who treats people so terribly that they injure themselves just to avoid working for him. <sighs> if I help him, he'll continue to hurt others. Uh, but if I choose to do nothing, now to, many... Uh, the master legend locks, law sectors for uh, exotic... It shouldn't matter what this man has done. He deserves to be treated like Jesus. anyone else. We can't judge others when... I know it's my duty to help this man, but if you'd seen some of the injuries I've treated that he's caused, you would understand my doubts. The innocence of the grief... What if I free his slaves? If he has no slaves, he can't mistreat them anymore, and you'll be able to... Yes, I can save this man, and you can prevent him from hurting others. Our kindness here will show him the error of his ways, show him a different path to... Right now, all I'm trying Thank to do you, is my exotic quest here and there but the honestly i'm just trying to unlock the abilities because i know my stasis hunter can fucking turn invisible damn it i can't kill him and if i was able to get the invisibility for stasis then i would be happy i was a little sad given that uh, the main story quests whenever you got your stasis skills had like fucking two second recharge speed. I loved just running around throwing ice shuriken like a fucking ninja. It would just bounce yeah, between people. Yep, yep. I I am thoroughly sad that the regen on that is like so significantly <laughs> different. Use Monte Carlo. Done. Yeah, but then I've got to use Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo's an already AR. What's up? Can't be used. Uh, no, it's not. Pretty sure it's submachine. Kind of a submachine gun, isn't it? No, it's an AR. I have it. I have it. I, I used it with the uh, what's it called? The the throwing knife hunter, where it's just fucking. You just get playing with fire three, and then on top of that, fucking Monte Carlo, it just throw knives, throw knives, throw knives. Did I find the guy I'm hunting? Or the horse I'm, I'm, I'm seeking? Whoa. Hey, partner. How about you leave me the fuck alone, buddy? See ya. No, oh, I'm out of the camp. See ya. Where, who is? Who did I ping? Oh. Is this the horse I'm looking for? Or is this one of the dudes I need to kill? I think this is one of the dudes I need to kill. Yep, it is. Pardon me, sir, but uh, I need to kill you now? Whatever you're about to do, sir, I'm gonna need you to sit down and shut the fuck up. Also, I like how this guy is talking about fighting Drakon, uh, and putting poison in his armor. And I'm just like, he, the dude doesn't wear armor. I was behind you, I just finished that hit, but whatever. You're dead. I like how there's two quests I can do to fucking make this guy weaker, and I just didn't give a fuck and killed him anyway. <laughs> like, I don't need to make him weak, he's dead. We're moving on. I was just using those quests to figure out where the fuck he was. I do like how randomly one of the fucking uh, main people I killed, they were like, by the way, this is uh, a cult member. I was like, oh, fucking dope, they're dead now. Uh, let's see, Boishi has four champions. He can be found on an island at the center of Lake Copius. Alright, well, it's a good thing I have a fucking fast travel point to that exact military camp. He will be easy to find and kill, as is everyone at this point in the game. Yo, Johnny, oh, <laughs> with fucking Odyssey, it was wild. I played this game, I want to say, for at least 20 to 30 hours without upgrading my spear because I wasn't progressing the story. I got all the way to, like, level 45 before I was like, man, everything is really hard to kill. 
and then started to look it up and oh cool the guy i need to kill is super easy to find but uh yeah i got to like level 40 and things were so hard to kill i was like i think i'm gonna progress the story because i'm sure there's some upgrade i can get in some way and then they're like by the way Cassandra, oh. what are you doing here I came to I, I started to actually be able to upgrade and I upgraded my spear to like level three immediately. But I'm glad our paths have crossed again. This is the last place I expected. I left Stentor with the greatest responsibility a man could carry. I could How thoughtful. <laughs> Leaving Stentor to pick up the pieces in Megaris. I could not stay, um. not after what happened. I don't Neither is Stentor, but he isn't running from it. You've changed mm. so much. This is who I've always been. You. I will never be able to change that, but I can do something now for someone who needs me. I wish you'd helped me back in Sparta. Uh, it's been a while since but I even. Stentor touched, does uh, need help now. Stentor is as much your family as I am. Kind of I will. He may yeah. hate me, but I'm glad to have met him. Goodbye. Camp is in the forest in the northern part of the Heights. Northern part of the Heights. I'm gonna guess that one. Huh. Let's reach the room. I mean, I'm sitting here. I got demon souls that I need to be. I got Godfall that I need to be. By the way, Johnny, I think you'd like Godfall. Um, think Dark Souls style of combat with like heavy attack, light attack. Actually, you know, it's more in depth than Dark. It's a lot more in depth than Dark Souls. Now that I think about it, I uh, think Assassin's Creed style of combat. <laughs> but uh, everyone is like super shiny knights. Um, but also. It has randomized drops like Assassin's Creed and Destiny and all that shit. So just kill a random group of enemies and you're like, oh, cool. I got a new axe. Um, the other cool thing is is that your armor sets work like Warframes. So, like, um, I was playing with Bobby. I think the armor set he has is, like, bonus bonus parry damage or something like that. Or, or bonus fire damage. The one I use does poison damage and earth damage. So, you can equip different stuff as you find it. Repeatable quests as usual. Leveling up. You have your own ability tree. And then there's something... I want to say like 15 or 20 different uh, armor sets. Or, I, I should say Valor Plate as they call them. Which basically they're like Warframes. In that you have to equip the full set. You can't just one piece from this set or another. So, it's all about your gear and your... Your, or all about your weapons and like your rings and stuff. You can't actually change your armor. You can only completely change your valor plate. I haven't played it a whole lot. I think I'm like level 10 or 12. So I'm not too far into it. This is it. Holy fucking shit. Alright, uh, well, I know for a fact that I have a quest that wants me to go in here, so I'm gonna go in here. Oh. There's no way this is correct. There's gotta be another way in. What the fuck? Huh. I'm guessing that all the pings I found over here is just a fucking huntress camp. Oh, hello. 
This fire's fresh. And the food's still shimmering. Nasea can't be far away. And Nasea is a huntress. Good to know. And she'll probably have a beast companion. These tracks don't look human. They lead away from the camp to the north. Uh, was she murdered by a fucking beast? That would be hilarious. This hut must be Nasea's. I guess she prefers the quiet of the forest over living in the city. What do you mean open map to find my objective? Follow the river. Oh, okay. Uh, follow the river in the southeastern part of the Crested Lands. She is likely sleeping at her camp during the night. Oh, so she's somewhere along this river. Oh, Icarus has found her. Cool. Where? There stalks the mighty hunter. There she is. Well, she's got a bear companion, so I did call the animal companion part. Bear's not really a threat to me. Oh. Hey, what's up, bitch? Oh, she's dead. Done with her. Moving on. I'm so retarded. Why didn't I think to go in here? Oh. Whatever you are I was gonna say, not gonna lie, I don't know what a bumper is. I don't understand. I don't understand it myself. My brethren and I were ground to this place, but madness took over. We fought over the artifact. Grabbed the steely? Searched the caves. That's where they'll be hiding. <laughs> uh, I do believe that man is very dead now. Dear diary, it's dark as fuck. <laughs> Damn it, Cassandra, keep the weapon drawn. Assume I can't move this. Something's blocking this. Yeah, can't move that. That's a. Why should be just like two fucking urns. Touch the thing. Get the power. There's no chest in here. Oh, well. Hilariously enough, as soon as I say that, I find one. That's my luck. You're alive. No. I don't know 
of these motherfuckers got all the way in here without encountering these fucking snakes. I understand that snakes give me some sort of threat, something I need to worry about. So I can't just sit around my thumb in my ass and just... It's not boring and I go forward, I actually have to be careful of shit trying to kill me. But I don't think that this is the right way to go about making it engaging. will very likely lead me back outside. Yep, that's the back where it leads to so. I, I, circle, thank you. Nope, not where I need to go. This is where I need to go. Can we, can we not with the hot hippity hop? Thank you. Oh shit. No! I am on Panic! fire. No longer on fire. I have no idea what that does. So, question, what are your thoughts on, uh, Europa? On what? On Europa as a zone. Whoa! That nearly hurt. Um... What do you mean Europa? The ice planet? It's very icy. Hmm. Won't budge. Okay. The part that really annoys me. Oh, Jesus. The part that does annoy me is the fact that, uh. You, you can't fucking. Sometimes the storm rolls in and you just can't see shit. They've kind of fixed that now, but yeah. Other than that, it was a new area to explore. Shit to kill. Whole nine yards. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, what bothered you is what? There's no way, there's no places to teleport. Like the fucking entire zone is two oh, is yeah, two true. teleporters back to back that are completely useless being right next to each other. Yeah, one teleport to Zavala and then the other teleport to fucking Varric and they're like 30 seconds from one another. There should just be the one at there. I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go here. Did I obtain the item? I don't... I don't have a quest here anymore. Hold up. Uh, I think it's the end of world. Which one was it called? Um, Those are called like Madman's Writings. Hmm. Well, I have a better idea. I was gonna say. Uh, he's in the ruins over here. I don't have a quest to return to him. I am officially confused as fuck. Because I don't know where to go in here. Uh, the writing's on the wall. Uh, nope. Here's the spear for Shred Islands. Or be Bowie. Boetia. Epi, there we go. 
Covering the meaning behind the text. Soon the full statement will reveal the answers. Uh, is this the story one? All right, where does this cliff want me to go then? They are near the center of Oroporos Heights. Oh, they fled. I'm fucking retarded. They're not in here anymore. I need to leave. I'm dumb. Whatever. I looted the place. Could have sworn he said they were hiding deeper within, but I'm not seeing anything I can break. I'm not seeing another direction I can go. Whatever. I found the ancient fucking artifact that somehow gives me an ability point. So, I guess I win. Slicer. Slicer. Oh, I parked my horse out here. Where did he go? I hate it when a motherfucker comes up, just rolls up, and steals your horse on you. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what I did to get it, but like, I just started killing bounty hunters as they were coming after me, and then they were like, "You obtained legendary horse," and I have Ares horse. Like, it's a black horse with uh, like lava radiating off of him. His tail is on fire, and his head is a skull on fire. Pretty fucking cool. Alright, welcome to the Cave of Madness. So I wouldn't recommend you come after me. The gods speak of nope, you're dead. You came after me. That was your first problem. Can I just... Whoa. Bye. Try though. Just ran at me full sprint like a fucking moron. Was this that. really influencing them in some way? I will admit, this side quest does actually have my curiosity. Like, not all the side quests I give a shit about. This one I am actually curious. Uh, alright, so, back to the story, though. Alright, uh, with the king's edict in one hand, spear in the other, da, da, da. okay, so I have to return to Stentor. Um, after the audience with the kings, uh, Cassandra planned to meet up with them in Arcadia, I'll do that later. Victor was assured as their champion, Cassandra just needs to get him to the Olympics. Talk to Testicles trainer. Oh. Motherfucker's name is Testicles. Oh boy, was he bullied in high school. An axe with overpower damage would have been actually delightful to equip. And I'm retarded. For not equipping. Whatever. <sighs> What are you, what are you, what are you, what are you? Assassin and poison damage, nope. Hunter damage, poison damage, warrior damage. That's, I mean, I don't really use poison anymore. I went all in on the fire build. That's trash. Uh, that's all trash. I now have another piece of gear I can't fucking disassemble. That's gonna annoy the crap out of me. Whatever. I'm assuming that at the end of this quest line, I'll just have like a legendary armor set because I've been doing legendary armor things. 
You know what? Let's actually go for an ability I fucking use. Where's the ability? I think it was a hunter ability. Did I already obtain it? I had to have. If an adrenaline segment is partially drained, it'll refill outside of combat. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so that's already level 3. I don't know why that's a fucking archer ability. Probably because archer in this game fucking sucks. Johnny, you've played Valhalla, right? Yeah. Do you have a bow? Um. Uh, I don't think so. Good. I've never found the bow to be like an, oh, this is an amazing weapon. It's always just like, it, it does chip damage. Why do that when I could just go stab a bitch? Yeah. I, I, I could literally just roll up on them and start stabbing. Especially once you start upgrading your skills. Because that was the hard part. Was for the longest time. Because I didn't progress the story and I didn't upgrade my spear. My assassin abilities and all that shit. Like, all of my abilities were level 1 and I couldn't level them up. <laughs> and then it was like, oh, you have to actually uh, progress further in the story. And then after that it was, you have to upgrade your spear. However, once I was able to upgrade my spear, it was immediately level 4. Because I had just been exploring and killing, and I was already like level 40 fucking 5 before I even touched leveling up my spear. Although, going from 3 adrenaline segments to like 7 or 8 is just incredible. It makes combat so much easier to be able to pop heals as I need them, attack abilities as I need them. It's just everything is easier when you have the adrenaline to do it. abused the shit out of that wolf on accident. I was gonna tame it and then I remembered my sword does fire damage as I kicked it in the face. So it promptly killed over and died. taming these wolves not with this fire sword that's fine that's the sad thing is that there's a beast master perk and i'm like oh, i can get pets this is awesome and i'm like yeah by the way they die like this fucking easy you're back the champions have been dealt you should be dead you seem disappointed the gods are punishing i'm a mercenary killing is what modest but mortal. We'll cross that river when we get. I don't have uh, the river stick. Sparta must take this region. Let's get this over. I couldn't agree more. This.
Okay. Motherfuckers over here like a mother uh, a fucking scene out of Shadow of War. Like it, it, it's a whole zoom in. He taunted me. Like this is Shadow of War right now. You may be the face touch, but now you're the flame touch, because I got a fucking flaming legendary sword. Your ass is dead. Get out of here. Oh, wow. Mercenaries can actually show up if you have a bounty. That's cool. Kill the battle pole mark. Okay, where's he hiding? Oh, hey, buddy. First off, fuck your shield. Second off, no, I'm leaving the battlefield. Well, I knocked him out of the battlefield. I, I, I'm not to blame for that. Oh, oh, okay. I've been hitting the last one. I'm a bird. I believe this man is dead. He is very dead. Oh, you have a shield. That's cute. Now you don't. I do believe that means we win the war. There are no fleeing. Sparta has successfully completed the battle. Alright, so, Sparta owns Boetia. I guess. I win? Maybe. <laughs> God, combat is so much easier. I just fucking decimated people. Victory is yours. My father taught me all I know about commanding an army. Too bad you took him from me. Or I might stop. Don't you dare tell me what to do. You needed my help. By the gods, how are you so arrogant? No wonder my fa- You know nothing about my- I know he threw you off of a cliff and choked- Oh, now who's being arrogant? You were an afterthought. You- We'll see about that. Ooh, ooh what do you that mean? was rude. Now that we've driven the Athenians from the field, it's time. Centaur, your you... job is done, mercenary. Now I will kill you for what? You don't have to do this. Oh, but I do. There is nothing you can say to convince. This isn't what Nicolaus. Oh, told. you fucking know. I am not a. You betrayed Sparta. You killed my father and stole my chance at a normal life. You deserve nothing but the cold of my. Am I actually fighting? All right, well, I guess I'm killing my brother. You're not going to like what happens. Can I leave? I, okay, thank you. I was killing each other will not heal the wounds of the past. I was say, I didn't actually kill my thought you were dead. Not just yet. She should pay for what she's done. How many times do I... Stentor. I don't understand. You both have a greater role to play. Become the leader I trained you to be. Lead the arm. How? You are an honorable man, a loyal son, and a great warrior. You will be a better commander than I am. I will already have 
that could have ended bad. Cassandra, a shadow grows across Sparta. Mother and I will be. You found her? Ruling Naxos. Sounds like her. <laughs> All right, cool. Quest progress. I did that thing, I guess, now. I guess we go to the Peloponnesia. Whatever the fuck that is. Where do I... They are in Arcadia. Okay, Arcadia would be this location. Oh, this place is massive. They're in the border of the Smuggler's Forest and Golden Field. Okay. Golden Field. Uh, Smuggler's Forest. They're in the statue... At the statue of Artemis in the Cedar. I'm gonna guess there. It's either there or there. They're in the border of the smugglers and for so they're they're between these two locations. Alright, well. Let us go poke and kill some bitches. Let's fucking do this. No one can stop me. Somewhere a goat has the obsidian eye of the Cyclops. Yeah, my problem with that is the fact that he she uh she shoves the obsidian eye in the asshole of a cyclops, but or in in the asshole of a goat, and then the goat runs away. But the goat's gonna shit eventually. Also, hello Anissa. I know you've probably answered at a weird time in a weird conversation, but hi. On lunch break. Ah! That makes sense. I don't know, I have 700 meters to traverse. Mater told me to meet her at the statue of Artemis in the Cedar. Who are you killing? And it's easy. Say that, but each one only counts for one, so that's still a hundred finishes. Oh, you gotta do it a hundred times, goddamn. That is just time consuming, that's all. 
still easy, just time to kill. So, this is not the Statue of Artemis, <laughs> which means this one, I guess, should be, I don't actually know. Well, I doubt it's that military base, because that's a fucking fort over there. Okay, why does it say there's a bounty hunter symbol next to the... I have three bounty hunters after me. Jesus, I didn't know I had that much of a wanted level. Oh, that's gonna be fun to kill. I want the Amazon armor set so fucking badly. I'm just... <laughs> A percentage of all damage you deal is returned to U.S. health. Oh, so you're saying I am a tank. As long as I do damage, I cannot die. Also, I cannot climb. Ah, that was weird. No matter what direction I held, she would refuse to move. I don't know who you are, who are but you? I'm going to stab you. Me? I'm no one. But you? You're even godlier than Bracida said you'd be. It should be your statue between these trees. Brasidas? What does he have to do with this? Warrior, he said. Look for the mighty warrior with the broken spear. I added the godly bit. I'm just a traveler. And there's more than one. I'm the eagle, he mentioned. What eagle? Fuck. <laughs> Where is Brasidas? Of course you do. And the woman. You'd like to wait. She looks like you. Tell me where they went. I should. I'm talking That's what to a Brasidas dude. Paid me for, after all. Then why don't you? <laughs> he didn't pay enough. Come on! Oh yeah, now this guy is a bounty hunter. All right, well. Somebody get water! But he was like, I've been. And it's like, I'm looking for you. And you're like, why are you looking for me? And you could actually, like, talk to him. But he's like, so I'm supposed to find the warrior with the broken spear. And you're like, well, I mean, it's, there's more than one broken spear in the world. He's like, and the eagle. What eagle? As she said that, Ikelos literally lands on her head. You're like, oh, that eagle. <laughs> Well, that man did not like gravity. Just What's up, fucker? Traveler, she says. Well, it's just a well-armed Tell traveler. me where they are, <laughs> or I'll cut that shit-eating... He said you had a nasty temper. Tell me where my mother is, or I'll shove my spear so far down your throat, you'll be shitting iron at the gates of Hades. Please. That's a good threat. Show me... Speak! They're on a hill. A clip of Brasidas didn't pay you enough? Who did? Tell me, or I'll wrap your guts around your neck and hang you from that tree. The Archon. He's paying more for your head than Brasidas. Tell me who the Archon is. <laughs> La Rose. His name is La Rose. And he's a mo You threatened the rogue? I don't threaten anyone. 
Dude, I literally just kicked your ass. Like, what are you doing? How do you... First off, I don't know how you healed and have half your health back. Second of all, I just kicked your ass. Fuck you. You're going off the cliff a second time, bitch. I love the Spartan kick ability. It's fucking punted a dude off the cliff side. He's like, you're fucking dead. Go away. That was hysterical. Kick the dude's ass, and then he somehow got his half his health back. So I had to fight him again, and I kicked the dude's ass again. Like, what are you, what are you doing, sir? Go away. You are clearly outmatched. Just sit down. Okay, I need to find me a quest. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's over here off in the middle of fucking nowhere. All right, well. I need me. Oh, that's the wrong button. I need a horse. Not just any horse. I need my flaming skull horse of death. I just love how there's different cosmetics you can get for your horse, and as soon as I got this one, I was just like, well, done cosmetics. <laughs> done with cosmetics for the horse, because uh, I don't think it's going to look as badass as this. Yeah, fast travel objective. All right, I'll hit the fast travel points along the way between here and there. Oops. Sanctuary of Athena Polias. All right, well, you can't climb a fucking 90 degree cliff. I can't. Johnny, question. Do you play Pokemon Sword and Shield at all? Yes. Are you aware of the new DLCs that are out? Yes. Have you beaten them? Yes. Uh, did you go for Spectrier or Glacier? Spectre. Spectre? Did you name it Nightmare as well? Oh, I, I nicknamed mine Nightmare because I just thought it was really fucking cool. I mean, it's it's a ghost horse. The only thing that would have been better is if I could have gotten Spectrier with fucking Yawn and Tree Meter. And then I could actually be a Nightmare. Let's go with, uh, what was it? Hypnosis, Yawn, Tree Meter, and, like, Ghost Claw. Although, I, no, those are all special attacks. Not Ghost Claw, Dark Orb. Gotta go hit the wrong button again. Bring me my horse. Okay, suddenly there's a very pissed off boar. Not that I give a shit. It's just a boar. Okay, for fuck's sake. Uh, did you play Shadow of War? Johnny? Yes, yes I did. Why are you so damn quiet? Probably on my end. It is. Because I haven't changed any audio settings. Anyway, um, have you seen Watch Dogs Legion at all? Want the Algon dead. None of this will do. Nah. Oh. Uh, well, it allows you to recruit whoever you Thank want. The gods you found us. Like, just random people you find you can recruit. Message. But the thing I find I interesting the is the connection she between people. So. These cultists Marini told me about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you were coming, a must have <laughs> My buddy was talking about how he was playing, and it's like he heads. got someone to join his Plus group, and then he went to go, now. like, talk to someone else, and they were like, oh, well, my daughter, or granddaughter is in your organization, I'll join too, and he's like, cool, and then one of the things, like, he just found a random drug dealer, 
uh, and he interrupted them, and the guy immediately shot the fucking other dude, and killed, apparently, one of his members, like, fathers or husbands, and then immediately betrayed him and shit. Like, it just, it got crazy quickly. Whatever happens, we need Lagos alive. So, what, that's what out. Yeah. That man is working for the cult of God. Then we need to free him. What makes you think he wants to... Bounties and threats aren't Lagos' style. I thought it's on sale right now. I, I highly doubt it's on sale, considering it just no, came it's, out. No, it's on sale. It's Looks on like sale. It's on the Black Friday sale. You oh. Right now. Oh, yeah, Black Friday sale. it's time to make a decision. Like, it's on the Black Friday sale on the PlayStation Store. My mother's plan is... Oh, my lamb. You know. You're letting your impulses over thousands of Spartans Trip depend on Lagos for too. food and protection. Like, There's a farmhouse this known east of Bigea where he has a safe house. But yeah, it's also... Me there before... and what's I don't know how I was looking at it. Like I don't know who it is. Just... Yeah, yeah, what dogs? I don't the know the second one. Then we must weaken his defense. I didn't He's got bags like as much as the first one. And silos full of grain. It would be a shame if it... Like... I'll go see what Lagos... Good luck, my lad. You don't understand. This isn't just about fire and wheat. This is personal. I don't know. I got away from that watchdogs. It wasn't that great to me after the first one. The first one was like cool as fuck. The new hacking stuff, and the second the one kind of disappointed me. The second one was fun because it had the multiplayer, and we could both be in the same world and just be fucking lunatics. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that was so nasty. They should not have allowed that. <laughs> you remember that hacking dogs. the fucking, uh, what was it? We hacked... I remember you ran me over. I don't recall what you're talking about at all. I would never do such a thing. With a remote control fucking... Car. <laughs> I would never. What do you mean? So fuck you, sir. That was like <laughs> the first thing you did. <laughs> How dare you impute upon my honor? I would never harm a compadre. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I remember we had those. Uh, what was it? They were like construction lifts, and we both hacked them and drove them around, and the cops couldn't get to us for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. But funny. Cassandra planning to meet up with them, but Arcadia is no such place. Uh, I, I progressed. Oh wait, I have to do this. God, there we go. Get yep. Up for work for three more hours. Huh? Uh, I'm working overtime this. I'm on mandatory overtime this weekend, so I worked Saturday. Or s I worked yesterday. Uh. Not yesterday. I worked Saturday from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. on Sunday, and now um, I was off Sunday, and then I worked 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. today into Monday, and then tomorrow I work at 4 p.m. That's the only thing that sucks is, like, if it wasn't mandatory, I would not work Mondays just for the fact of having to go in on at 4 the next day. But next weekend I'll only have to work Sunday overtime, and then the next week after that I'll have all weekend. But I'll probably end up working Saturday. Just because I like having the extra money. I'm here to collect that bounty. My 
shift is B2. B2 and B1 work four days a week. Tuesday. I don't know why you're defending yourself to me. <laughs> I'm not defending myself. I'm just explaining. Um, Tuesday through fucking Friday. So you start work at t on Tuesday at 4 p.m. For my shift, it's 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. So, on my shift, we start at 4 p.m., we leave at 2 a.m., the last day of work is at 2 a.m. on Saturday morning. Okay, so, we never leave our shit fucking, nah, like, bad. Like, we make sure all the carts and stuff are cleaned out best, like, as far as leaving stuff over and repow. I don't work repal all the time. I don't work repal at all on my shift anymore. But we ma repal makes sh like I help out over there every once in a while still, but I don't stay over there. But we never leave it fucking bad. All the carts end up fucking emptied off to where there's not a lot of inventory on carts around repal. Stuff has already been pulled to the zone, and packed and shit, and sent to other stores. Huh? These must be the barracks well, Mother spoke of. On, sat on Saturday, when we left at 2 a.m., Repal looked fucking pristine. Best I've ever fucking seen it. Fucking swept. Fucking nothing was over 30% full. There was no extra cage carts with mixed carts that we have to resort through. None of that. Go into work at 6 p.m. on Saturday. Okay, th so that means there was only one shift between my shift and the shift I went into on uh, for overtime, which is the AP, which is the weekend shift. Okay? So, A1 was the only shift between the last time that I had been there and that time that I'd been there. When I went in, dude, oh my god, it was slammed. There was 40 carts filled. There was 40 carts that hadn't been took to their zone. Every cart around Reedow had fucking 70-80% fucking field like might as well just fucking pull it and empty it but we couldn't pull it because there was still 40 carts lined up to be, to be taken to the zone like dude oh my god we spent fucking three hours getting fucking repow it, it under normal operating conditions sadly it happens Some sadly just shit enough. Sadly, shit, they left that shit like that on purpose, and the fucking, I'm pretty sure when I go in today, it won't look like that. Uh, oh, they were fucking furious, fuming furious, like, fuck this, fuck that, fuck you, fuck the boss man, the boss man was like, fuck this. What's going on over the fucking OM, the fucking supervisor for Repower was just like, fuck this, fuck all of this, this is fucking Bullshit. I looked at him like, my ship didn't do it. The barracks are clear. Hell, that was a guy from his ship that was on overtime on my ship, and he was one of the guys that was fucking getting it pristine. Oh, dude, it broke my heart seeing the shit. He, I, dude, I bet he almost wanted to quit. You're gonna end up what? Having to buy a new watch. I've had this watch for a while now. It's a Garmin. It's a Garmin watch. It's fucking expensive as fuck, but it's damn near indestructible. I've had my arm in concrete. I've had this thing covered in fucking solid concrete. You take a hammer to it to break the concrete, and the fucking front glass on it. You wanted a durable watch. I I knew a guy that had one. He said he took it everywhere. He said he didn't. The only thing he took, had really had to take it off for was to fucking charge it. He 
he said he's smashed it, he's fucking done everything to it this that you could imagine like the camp. done to a watch. I have to send some guards and some to things that honestly, nine times out of ten, probably wouldn't even happen to a watch. And he said it just does not care. It doesn't scratch, dude. Like, the thing still looks as good as the day I fucking bought it. And it's went through concrete, it's went through rain. I've took it fucking swimming, I've took it running, it's fucking, dude, it's just fucking extremely durable watch. It has GPS on it for whenever I go hiking in the mountains, all kinds of shit. It's starting to get to where the battery life does not last, like, at all, from how long I've had it. Wait, give me one second, I gotta go get the charge for it. charged it on like Sunday, Saturdays or Sundays. Now it's charged every every other day. And the barracks. My last target is the fort, which is also but, uh, a smuggler's forest. What were you asking? Uh, like you were saying about Pokemon. Oh no, I just remembered Nightmare and uh, fucking Final Fantasy. You trying to get that Nightmare uh, mount? Yeah, I still have to go. At, I haven't completely finished the uh, uh, Tundra. I have to get the twin, no? I don't remember where I was, I think I was at the twin. Uh, the twin giants? But you can only get one of them, right? What are you... What are you talking about? Pokemon. Whenever you're going after the Reggie Gigasons. Oh, you're, yeah, you're talking about Reggie Drake or Reggie uh, Electro. Yeah. You can only get one or the other, right? Yes. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the exploration. <coughs> I really don't care about the what fucking shine. Uh, the legendaries. <laughs> I don't care about the shinies. I just care about the legendaries. Legendaries for me break the game. Oh, did you know? Speaking of breaking the game, you know you could break the game, right? <coughs> <coughs> no, but how? Make a brand new game. Brand new file. Um, pick whatever starter you want, it really doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and the reason is that you can, from the beginning of the game, like, I had maybe a level 12, my Grookey was level 12, um, and I was able to, 
just fucking absolutely decimate. Uh, you get Grookey level 12, you go into the DLC, and then you do the... You can lose to the guy on the Isle of Armor. Like, he'll have 70 Pokemon. Um, you can lose to him, no problem. And then after you lose to him, just keep, uh, go into the raids. They give you level 65 Pokemon to start with. And you can get a level 70 Suisin that will obey you from the beginning of the game. The, the legendary is... Uh, Uh, well, you know how when you start the Isle of Armor, the guy is having an argument with his daughter and you have to battle him? Yeah. Even if you lose, it still progresses the game. Wait, that's, tu no, that's the Tundra. Yeah, okay, Tundra, sorry. The, whatever the newer one is. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, and then after you do that, you can go into the little underground area, and if you can make it all the way to the end, you actually get legendary. Well, the thing is, though, is that they give you level 65 Pokemon to do that with. So it doesn't matter what level your Pokemon are. So I had a level 12 Grookey and no badges. I did that, and now I have a level 70 Suisin that can stomp through most of the game. You mean a Suicune? Uh, Suisin, but yes. Fucking blue dog. Yes! He's a guarant he's a, a guaranteed encounter. Yeah, for the first one. Yeah. But uh and she which one do you play? Sword. Okay, so we get ho uh. Oh. Ho uh oh is one of ours. Uh and then Lati oh one of the Lati is one of ours. Point is, is that whatever one you get, you can get from the go, well, no, and immediately. No, Suicune is the first. Because you you're pretty much also guaranteed to uh, get to the Suicune. Yeah. Because like that first starter team just OP as fuck. Yeah. But every team after that fucking sucks dick. I, I wouldn't go that far. Honestly, dude, if you ever get the chance to, if you go do those raids and you can get Ditto, fucking Ditto. <laughs> what do you mean? Ditto is stupidly overpowered. I'll be right back. I gotta step away. I'll tell you more when I get back. Fair enough. About why Ditto is so goddamn broken. Da, 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 da. All right, I'm back.
Alright, so as I was saying before, Ditto is broken in the rage because Ditto's ability... You know how Ditto has, like, only one attack ever? Ditto's ability is to auto-transform at the start of every battle. Wait, what? When you're in the raids, Ditto auto-transforms into your opponent at the start of every battle. Really? Yep. So you don't have to use up that turn to transform. Nope. You are instantly them. Huh. Uh, you also copy all of their stats. So, oh man, level 70 legendary with crazy stats. Guess what? I am also a level 70 legendary with crazy stats. Instantly. Honestly, I've had very few raids fail. Because it's just a case of you have to know Pokemon. <laughs> I'm just... The one thing I am sad about is the fact that every time you catch a Pokemon in the raids, it takes up a Pokeball, but you can only take one of them out of the dungeon with you. Yeah. Although... The other thing that's cool, you don't have to take every Pokemon just to battle with it. So, like, for instance, uh, Trevenant was a really cool one for a short time because he was a grass ghost. Um, I didn't actually capture him with a Pokeball, but still, at the end of the battle, they were like, do you want to use Trevenant? So you don't have to capture them to be able to use them. So it eventually gets to the point where I wasn't even capturing any Pokemon unless I knew I was going to keep it. Also, uh, when you're doing the raid things, uh, they uh, increase the chance of encountering a shiny from like 1 in 5,000 to like 1 in 100 or some shit. No, you've got to have the ring. You, If you complete the Pokedex from the, the base game, you get a... Uh, you shiny get, charm. Uh, I already have it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, Anissa and I sat down for like a, a good weekend and we're just like, where is every Pokemon? How do we get it? And we're done. So we knocked out the Pokedex completely. Nice. Uh, apparently the one for Crown Tundra doesn't give you like much of a dick. Back to me trying to pull out a torch. I think I originally tried. New mercenary discovered. Cadmus the cannibal. Okay. He ain't gonna stop me. So far though, I've only ever encountered the one shiny that I did. Which is the... I just thought it was great because I was streaming when it happened. And I was like, is he a shiny? I'm going to catch him just in case. Because it was also my first time encountering that Pokemon ever. So it's a brand new Pokemon and it was shiny. I didn't know that because I didn't know what it fucking looked like. I never like bought... Uh, Beriscuta. Oh, the little fucking... The one that's... The fucking fish thing. The, the Barracuda with the, like, the rotor for a tail? Yeah. Yeah. That's the evolved... Well, yeah, okay, so I think it's Aracuda is the base form, but either way, that, that was, that was the, uh, the shiny that I got, randomly, it was like, alright, I'll use that, because it's, whatever, you know, it's a fucking shiny, hell yeah, so I have had him for the entire playthrough, or at least since Nessa, you know, when I encountered him.
not to toot my own horn or anything, but I am really fucking hard to kill. Figure, you know, while I'm here clearing the floor, might as well fully clear the floor. Uh, one more war supply and two more treasure chests. Well, I have eyes on both of them, so. I wonder what will happen if I do this. Catch me if you can, nerd! Alright, he does nothing at all. I am a terrible human being. <laughs> oh, hello, big guy. Thank you, Bear. You have assisted me. I will allow you to live. Good day. I love where I'm discovering merch or discovering new fucking bounty hunters as quickly as I'm killing them. Like, <laughs> bounty hunter slain. New bounty hunter discovered. It's like, re really? Really? Just always more? I mean. I guess that kind of makes sense, because it's, you know, it's this type of a game, so they're always going to want you to have something to be fighting. Alright. Um, so, the grain cell is located inside Lagos' compound. I'm assuming it's here. No. Maybe? Where the fuck is he? Uh, it's northwest of Pan's Cradle. Oh. Oh. Well. It literally identifies it for me. Well, that makes it super easy to go find him and kill him. Uh, you are the closest fast travel point. To the Temple of Zeus! What? I'm holding square. Okay. Did not hold square enough, evidently.
culture of Olympia, where the greatest athletes compete for fame and glory. Hopefully that was the last thing I had to do for this fucking sword. Nope. The sword, this, hey, this sword wasn't that hard to get, dude. Like, I'm gonna be honest, this is probably the easiest exotic quest I've ever had to do. So wait, I just realized something. You said your father never killed the Cyclops. No, I said game. he didn't have the trophy for the eye from the goat. What, wait, what do you mean by that? It's some kind of a trophy for the eye of a cyclops from some goat. Oh, you're talking. Okay, never mind. I, I know what you're talking about. So you can actually go find the goat? That's hilarious. I don't know if you remember in the beginning, but the Cyclops is like the first boss you fight. And uh, you one of the things you do is you steal his obsidian <coughs> eye, and then you shove it in the ass of a goat right before you fight. So what you're saying is, is that you can find the goat on Kefalonia, kill it, and get the eye back. Apparently. That would be hysterical. You would just have to murder goats willy-nilly to find it. I was going to say, because if, if he didn't kill the Cyclops, there's kind of a serious uh, story event that occurs, but it requires you to kill the four mythical beasts. So I had to kill, uh, what was it, Medusa, <coughs> the, the Cyclops, the Lava Guardian, and the, the Minotaur. And they're all, I think, level 50? No, the Minotaur, I think, was 35. Uh, I know for a fact that the Medusa was 50, because she was the last one I killed. But, I don't know if you want me to give you spoilers. I don't care, dude. Go ahead. Um, do you know who Pythagoras is? Or Pythagoras? Yeah, Pythagorean Theorem. Yup, cool. Yeah, uh, he is Cassandra and Alexios' true father. Really? Yeah, Nikolaos is kind of an adopted father. Uh, the other thing there, Nikolaos, uh, not Nikolaos, uh, Pythagoras is something like 270 years old or some shit. The golden, he has a, one of the artifacts of Eden is a golden staff and it, it makes him immortal and then when you talk to him he like explains a bunch of shit to you and then eventually you can actually get the staff from him like he's he decides it's it's the end ah, of his yes, yes, time yes 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 uh and, well it depends on the uh words that you have with him and ben, he's like he could either be like no this is mine or you know what you're right yeah i, I convinced him um but the reason i bring it up is because oh hello sir 
I apparently didn't ping you with my eagle. Whatever. I will still kill you. But uh, the reason I bring it up is because after that, like, you get his staff. And then there's that cutscene where he actually talks to... Or not her. He... Whoever you're playing as talks to the main character who's running the fucking animus and talks to them and gives them the staff and shit. You're like, holy fucking what? He gives them the staff from the animus? Well, well no. They stood in the temple of Atlantis. They stood in that temple waiting for you to appear. Okay, that's very annoying. Alright, so there's a cult member dead. Because fire is a wonderful thing. Wait a sec. Um, nope, now I gotta go and find a, an abandoned person. You know, the Spartan War Hero belt would be pretty good, too. Locate and reach Lagos Compound. Uh, he's fucking dead. Jesus, it, it doesn't matter the stealth anymore. I can just kill everything. actually found that doing the story was quite challenging because I was always lower light level than I was than it wanted me to be which just made it yeah. more challenging yeah. and it was fun. Actually I, I did it as well and yes I agree. That motherfucker's at a hundred for his fucking uh, season rank already. Who? The friend whoever you were talking about playing with? No, whoever the fuck this motherfucker is I just ran into on the planet. Oh, is that what the level is now? It's your season rank? Uh-huh. Well, that motherfucker must play only Destiny. Goddamn. Like, no shit. I'm only, like, 11. Yeah, I think I'm, like, fucking 7. <laughs> it was funny, though, because I was just, like, it came out on the 10th, and I was working on the 10th. And I, as soon as I got home, I was like, oh, I guess I'll play that. It gives me something new to do. And then I did it. <laughs> And I played it for the 10th and the 11th, and then the 12th is like, yeah, but PS5, though. <laughs> yeah, but Destiny on PS5. Uh, but Destiny, like, I, but I don't want to have to buy the DLC. Ah. Uh. So, we're, well, I'm going to try the game sharing thing in a bit when I'm done streaming, which we are up to three hours. I'm probably going to go for one more. End it here, and then uh, relax a bit. There's going to be dinner in a couple hours. And then after dinner, do another stream. My usual 7 to 11. And, uh, yeah. Uh, if I can get your primary and actually still have the DLC and access to it, then awesome. But if not, I'm going to be very upset. And then probably not play Destiny for a while. Because right. I, I need to, I would need to buy the DLC, and I already have plenty of shit to play. Not to mention, I'm playing, you know, Call of Duty I have, just for shenanigans off stream. 
Um, honestly, that's the big one that I play off stream. What? Eight. The hell are you on about? Puke. Call oh. of Duty Puke. Eh, it's fun. It's good hand-eye uh, coordination testing with reactions and muscle memory. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, the other thing that I like is because it's on the 5, it has the haptic feedback. And I don't know if you're aware about the haptic feedback in the PS5 controllers. Nope. Okay, so short version. Um, the triggers actually take effort to pull. I didn't think I'd be able to land that trap. Or I more accurately, I didn't think it would instant kill, but that's cool. Anyway, so the triggers actually take effort to pull. You can't just fucking snap to... Like, you can't mash the shit out of R2. It actually has something that will resist you. And then, like, for uh, ARs and stuff, if you hold down the trigger to hold for a suppressing fire... It'll also vibrate the shit out of the fucking trigger, and it you can, like, feel it vibrating under your finger. And, not it. and the same thing with Call of Duty is, uh, aiming down sight with L2, it actually resists you based on the weight of your weapon. So lighter weapons are quicker to ADS, there's also less resistance in the controller, and heavier weapons are going to be slower, so sniper rifles and shit. Um, and then there's also the trigger pull, where you, you can actually increase your rate of fire and increase your, um, increase your, what is it, increase rate of fire, and then, like, you can get a lightweight trigger, and that actually makes it so that pulling the trigger is quicker and easier. Okay, so you're saying I can replace the trigger. No, 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 there's, there's a thing in the trigger that will actively resist you. Okay, can you turn that off? Yes. But I don't know why you would, because it's kind of cool to have it on, because it feels more authentic to, to feel like there's weight behind your hands, and, and you're actually wielding a weapon, not just a controller. Because it sets you at a disadvantage for the rest of the play from the rest of the players that don't have it active. I mean, yeah, that's true, but it's like a nanosecond of a difference in terms of you're still pulling R2. It's just... It's literally the first time it happens. Like, the first time you pull the trigger and you're like, oh, this resistance. Then it's just a case of you just pull the trigger harder. This is going to be hilarious. We need to kill uh, Lyle. Oh, yeah, no. He's dead. He's a cultist. He's fucking dead. Yeah, no, probably would have complicated. I'm sorry, I'm Brasil, fucking open sword. but when Lagos joined the cult, he sealed his fate. So you execute the manga in public against my advice. I have found this fucking thing if you were under my before. Command, Not meaning you to. You wouldn't be anymore. I don't follow orders. I do what I have to. So it's done. Suppose you'll be wanting to report the news to Sparta soon. The Othea may be at peace, but the kings also wanted an Olympic victory for Sparta. True, we must travel to Elise and win the wreath. Marini, you are as determined as ever. I'm sure you will regain your house soon. With Lagos dead, arrangements must be made to ensure Sparta doesn't starve. Tartaria is safe once more, and the bounty is lifted. We are free to travel without fear. Then let's continue our journey. Alright, so next quest. I apparently have to win the Olympic Games. Whatever the fuck. God. I really hope that Testicles over here, who's apparently going to train me at the Olympics, I really hope he's voiced by Danny DeVito. Please. <laughs> Pull a fucking straight out of Hercules with Danny DeVito. 
<laughs> oh, it'll be gold. Tell me if that's a thing and I will fucking play it. <laughs> you got a lot of story to burn through to get where I am. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I will burn through it just to, just to witness this. Bullshit, you lazy motherfucker, you it. won't. You will fucking I, jump I'll onto my stream to hear it and go, nice. I will and then do it for never. Danny. I will <laughs> do, do it, it for Danny. Danny. I have so many weapons. At least I'm getting a lot of olive wood. Cause boy fucking howdy do I need it. You know what? Let's go with that. That way there I have a heavy weapon. Great for taking out groups with my uh my super attack. Ooh, that's a lot of bonus DPS. Oh, I like how if you look at my stats, though, my hunter damage actually goes down. That's kind of annoying. But that's why I look at the numbers. Armor-wise, what are we looking at? Garbage. Garbage. Well... Not bad. Ooh, I'm liking all those stats, but I'm not liking the defense. Uh, let's see, you're just random purples. Oh, damage with overpower abilities. Yes. Oh, nice. My warrior damage just got boosted. Oof. This one I like, but it doesn't have the overpower abilities. Hmm. I'll stick with what I got. Oh, yeah. It's the fucking pair of boots I can't get rid of. <sighs> Hunter abilities. Don't care. Mm. Nope. Okay. Why do I have these level 40? Oh, yeah, because I have the fucking rusty boots I don't care about. Alright, so there, I just dismantled all the crap to sort my inventory. Test it, please, oh, yeah, how's this it going? Is the fucking one that lets me get all these damn it allies. If it's training you want, you don't just take anything. Do I look like I need training? I was sent by King Vasanias to collect the Pancratian champ. My apologies. I did. Don't worry about it. I. If I may offer some advice before you get there, Testicles can be difficult. Oil? A muffler. He believes they can use him with the power of Heraclea. Look in a village of. I need to get this champion of yours released. I hope he lives up to it. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the top. I should get that oil. Ten minutes. Alright, so the oil can be found in Laconia. It is in the southern part of the forest of Europus. Uh, it is south of the statue of Oresti in the village of Giftian. Well, there's the village of Giftian. Hooray for fast travel! It's somewhere in this town. I'm sure Ikelos will find it within seconds of me landing. It'll just be the you are near an unmarked target. And then I ping it and then we're done.
Oh, hey, look, we're near a target. Done. He's in the Bay of Hades. What's that in? I assume it's somewhere near water, given it's a fucking bay. Right? It has to be over here somewhere? Oh, he's training in Messenia. So he's over here. The Bay of Hades. Southern part of the Bay of Hades. He's on a very small island besides the shipwreck of Nestor. I'm going to guess it's this island here. If I had to wager a guess. Man, I have a fucking ride ahead of me. Yeah, I should have fast traveled here. Too late. Cassandra should be frozen right now.
Phobos is dead. I love the immortal horse. Yeah, all of the Ares horse is immortal. Oh no, your horse is just immortalist. It always is. Like I leapt off a cliff, it fell and plummeted to its death, and then I ran like a hundred, two hundred meters, and then I whistled again, and it's like, oh hey, I'm here. Like it's just for some reason, it's your horse is just immortal. Too late. Yo, it's foggy as fuck, son. I don't know why. I could just tell my horse to follow the road. I forgot that that was a feature until two seconds ago. When the fuck aren't we? No, legit war. Like, they're attacking a facility on Europa. And there are infinite fucks spawning in effect, like, every time. They're attacking where? The giant exo. Who the fuck is the giant exo? It's the giant exo. I don't know who or what that is. That's all I got. It's uh, Clovis Bright. Well, it's a copy of his consciousness.
All right, that was close. Literally, that was. Damn it. I had a 50 50 shot when it came to land masses. Well, conveniently, there is a boat right here, and it's mine. Oh my lord. What do you want from the great champion testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. Let's set sail. Oh no, can't possibly training. See, and I don't know if I'm up to going. There is nothing to be nervous about. But there will be a statue to write poems about you. To the Olympics! Well, we going? <sighs> you better fucking win. He is somehow going to die. Calling it now. Are you telling me I fast traveled all the fucking way out here just to fast travel back? Where's my quest objective? That way. Oh, 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 oh. There's a lot more than 9,000. I was lied to. What? Where the fuck is this? They want me to go out here? No way. I'm very confused. Whatever. What happened? Huh? Well. Oh, uh, I have a quest to, I guess, guide someone to a location, but they're... They were like, it's 9,000 meters away, or I read that wrong, and it's 90,000 meters away. That's a possibility. I mean, fast travel's a thing. Oh, they want me on my boat, that's why. Fuck that noise, I don't know how to make this fast. We're going to go here and summon my boat, and that should put him right next to where we need him to be. Ta-da! So here, I'm assuming this dock here is how I summon my ship. Oh, hey, we need to bring testicles here. Guess what? Done. Hey, look, there he is. What's up, pal? 
Wait, what do I need to bring is this? Now that I'm actually on my boat. Way over there. Alright, I, I, I have no... Fuck it. We're gonna go do what I normally do. <laughs> Fuck this shit, we're doing it on land. Because I don't like the water combat. Don't bite. Kind of hard not to. Um, I'm just going to go to this location and head west and probably go to the nearest dock. There's probably going to be one there, so... Uh, you think I don't see that? This motherfucker is an ancient bookie, are you serious? Whatever. On the bright side, we're filling in more of the map, and uh, we're getting more fast travel points. So I'll be able to jump around if I need to. That's cool. Just random centaur statues. Okay. Is there no fast travel point anywhere near me right now? I find that hard to believe. Oh wow, no, it's far as fuck away. Whatever. I'm gonna get my ship here.
to the Olympic Games. The party has officially begun. Alcibiades, I'm uh, surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young. come all this way it is quite right should you ever need a duel a skinny little athenian i'm the champion <laughs> oh a pity let's get going <laughs> i need to be oiled before i go to the games well i would have been happy to assist if you were in any state of confusion Likes to be royal. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know what? Come here. Give us a hug. Surely you can swim. No. Fuck! <laughs> that was the dumbest death ever. That that was right up there with World War Z, where they have to get the researcher, and he slips on the fucking uh, helicopter, or slips on the plane's fucking docking bay, slips, trips, and blows his own brains out with his own pistol. Oh my god. So, to answer your question about what happened there, Johnny, um, I just brought a guy several thousand fucking meters from point A to point B so that he can, uh, compete in the Olympic Games, and then he's still drunk as all fucking hell, because that's just what he's doing, and he goes to, like, hug Cassandra, and she just ducked under him and sidestepped and just completely dodged him. <laughs> And he fucking slips and falls off of the dock. And then there's just silence. And Cassandra's like, well, surely he can swim. And then the camera pans. And there's just a blood trail and a shark. They're like, oh. And it's just like, well, I guess you're the champion now. It's like, fuck. That was the dumbest death ever. Oh my god. Oh, this sword is fucking amazing. What does it do? Cuts through shields. Doesn't care about shields. Like doesn't energy shields of any element? Shi it doesn't matter what element. It doesn't matter if it's barrier champion. Cuts through shields. That is pretty wicked. You hold L2 to rev the blade. That sounds awesome. <laughs> that sounds like Devil May Cry. <laughs> the bad ones, but still Devil May Cry. Point is, is L2 is also to guard, and it's a lower element sword. Oh my god, this thing is fucking destructive. I mean, it is a fucking exotic sword. I'd expect nothing less. Oh my god, this thing is... M oh, do oh, go oh, go Use your words. Uh, I just destroyed a fucking boss. I just destroyed a gate lord in like three swings. That's nice, I've done it in one shot before. Big gun. No. Golden gun. Oh yeah, fuck you, golden gun. It's a super. <laughs> this is a fucking sword.
Temple of Apollo. Fast travel unlocked. Alright, now where the fuck am I going for this quest? Uh, he is in Ellis. I don't know where the fuck that is. I'm not seeing Ellis as a place. Theos, Delos, Pharos, Naxos, Sectoria, Melos, Thera, Anafi, Mesa. Where? The fuck is Ellis? Oh, Ellis is literally the place I'm in. I'm fucking retarded. Uh, they are in the center of the Valley of Olympia and the northeastern part of the Altar of Zeus. So, Valley of Olympia. No, no. Here. They're in the center, so right around here, northeast of the Altar of Zeus. I'm gonna guess there? No, northeast. They're gonna be that one. This one's gonna be the Altar of Zeus. Calling it now. Oh man, looking for an extreme challenge. Find the arena in Pefka and face off against extreme fighters. You're gonna be real fucked up when you find an altar to Kratos, motherfucker. Kratos is a mythological, or not a mythological, a fucking recently made god. I don't believe he is ever a part of the mythology. I'm pretty sure they added him to the mythology just to fuck with it. For the purposes of the story, they were like, he's a hero, or a human who rises to godhood. Johnny has sent an image. Yeah, I'll check that out later. Well, I'm, assu I'm assuming it's the sword. Of the fucking sword. Yep. But it actually apparently didn't screenshot the sword itself. So did you send me a dick pic instead? God damn it, Johnny. I've told you since last time, stop sending me drunken dick pics. There's the sword. So the other one is a dick pic, because I noticed you didn't deny that. Fucking lunatic. It might be. Fuck. I don't know. What do you One mean thing. you don't know, bitch? You got eyes. Use them. You must I don't want to look. The only fighter when missing is Testicles. It's my dick. Why do I care to look at a picture of it? I can just look down. Please, sir, let's go under the water. I mean, I'm the one taking his place. Oh, this is unprecedented. But the crowd will riot if very well. The competition begins. Time to go. I mean, it's the sword. I don't want to see your tummy sword, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, Cassandra, you're looking smoking in that underwear. Hold up. And screenshot taken. But um, this sword is apparently it's a banshee. It involves banshee, and the giant Exo knows who banshee is, and that's the only reason the giant Exo decided to help you find the sword. But the sword has actually been broken into pieces, and he's got to reforge it, and the giant Exo knows how to reforge it. And then the Vex attack it. So you've got to defend it while the sword is being reforged. And then you equip it and he gives you a bunch of heavy ammo boxes to let you go to fucking town. That was your best? That was but the beginning. Overall, do you remember how we got the Iron Gallarhorn? Uh, no. Uh, 
You don't remember doing the Gallarhorn mission in D1 whenever they brung it back and let you uh, power it and brung in the new version of it during the uh, nope. Iron Wolves? And Really? The crowd loves you, but you're not done yet. Not done? I thought you did that mission towards the end once you finally got Gallarhorn. Jax went on a fucking bitch fit over how powerful the Gallarhorn was and how you were amazing and the Gallarhorn is the weapon of the gods and da 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 da, -da. Johnny, stop. I don't remember it. Damn. Anyway, it was just a bunch of hordes and hordes of fucking enemies and heavy ammo crates and you with a Gallarhorn. That's what this was, but you with a sword. My friends, Timofanes and Talis, respected too much cheap wine. You look like you died from a real killer. You think it? You were celebrating? I hit the Olympia. You what should really check out the, the sword. The sword pick. If you've been poisoned, I can. Do you think that they could be too? Or? No, never. They're good men. You can't think one of them. Stay with me. I'll find out. Extend to me your olive branch, and I will take the globe. What? This man is dead. I don't care who sees. What the fuck? Oh shit, you find out who Banshee really is. What the fuck? What? Done with you. So you know how I said um, the giant Exo is Clo is a copy of the consciousness of Clovis Bray. Nope. Well, Clovis Bray, he he is, and Clovis Bray is basically the person who originally came up with the Exo program, created Exos essentially. Um, so no. Banshee is also Clovis Spray. So, yeah, essentially Banshee created Exos. But Banshee is also Banshee, and then the, there's the giant robot Exo as well they I don't know I guess he's split his di his uh consciousness If you so much as point me in the direction 
of a fucking cult member, I will annihilate them. <laughs> That's true. Kellyos is a fucking cult member. I'm like, okay, so Kellyos is going to die horribly. And apparently no one witnessed it. No one reported the crime. So, he's very much dead. This was definitely poison, and Alcibiades wasn't the only victim. How the fuck do I get around? Ah, there's a door here. Poison. Poison. It must have been added to the food and wine. How do how do we know it's poison? Hold on. It's quite transparent. But it's not broken. Hmm. A scroll of crystallization. And the merchant's name. Time to pay this Theon a visit. going to have a conversation. Please, please, I... Now you'll do what I... Oh, please. I thought we were just trying to make them slow. You know, so they lose. My friend Alcibiades may already be dead, and you're talking about... The golden boy? I was there. He didn't have much. Then tell me where it is. They're sure to have it at Fort Corribos. A man there takes... Did this will pay. Yes. No point in killing him. He's just a merchant. I don't know who you are or why you're aggressive, but bye. Okay, is this the fort? No, that's the dystopian ruins. Uh, it is the northern part of the Valley of Olympia, which is here. Northern part. Uh, I'm assuming up there. Oh man, we've discovered the Hippodrome. But there's not a single hippo or water near it in sight. False advertisement. I'm, I'm suing Athens. Solid one out of ten on a fucking Etsy. At what? Etsy? What? Etsy is where fucking the website you go to to buy handmade goods, dude. You mean Yelp? Somebody did the code. Technically, you're using Etsy. The handmade goods. Somebody wrote the code. Oh, fuck you twice. I got my chainsaw sword. That's what's up. But uh, holding L2 with the sword is also guard. Mm. But that's you how you rev me. it up to get more damage. You told me. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ping everyone in the military base. This must be the entrance. Not anything but that. Um, 
I'm gonna do exactly what I said I was gonna do. I'm gonna end my stream. No, I'm gonna end the stream and, and try to do the the share play or the, uh, the 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 profile sharing and all that stuff. Try to see if I can get your shit working on my end. Cause I kind of want to play Diablo Ow. three again. Ow. Ow. If they came out with any new stuff, cause that game is still fucking sixty dollars, dude. Uh, the Necromancer. I've got the Necromancer. Then no. Uh, the thing they do is they keep adding like seasonal heroes, and basically the seasonal heroes have a modifier of some sort for things like um. Let's see. Uh, one of them was uh, all loot goblins drop twice as much treasure, which is pretty cool. And then it's just various modifiers in terms of uh, you know you you heal whenever you attack or other crazy weird modifiers. I don't know what the new one is because as previously stated, I can't check. I can't play. What do you it. mean seasonal heroes? Like these heroes can like they so actually... if you have to make a new character, you can't use one of your existing ones. It has okay. the seasonal modifier the entire time that you're playing that character for as long as the season is active. Um, you cannot interact with your inventory, or not your inventory, your storage. So, like, you can't just have a shitload of legendaries in your storage for you to jump onto a seasonal hero and pick up. Seasonal heroes can only play with other seasonal heroes and only share gear with other seasonal heroes of that season. After the season ends, they just become a normal character. Oh man, guys, we have the full... Hello. Can I actually... Oh, what? How am I missing information? I've killed all of your... Fuck you. I'm just gonna have to look you up, you piece of shit. Oh, the sage is a Spartan king, so... He's gonna be the fucking... Okay, so yeah, the Sage is a Spartan King. That's going to be story-related. A uh, person of great wealth, the Sage is afraid to look weak within the cult. So it's probably that fucking... The, the dude. Who the fuck is Bryson? Huh. Oh yeah, I forgot about Chrysis. Where the fuck is she hiding? Well, I got just this venture into Argolis. Oh, I can actually mark his ass and hunt him. That's kind of funny. And then Demos is just part of the story. I'll kick your ass eventually, brother. Anywho... We're going to end this episode here was fun where we've killed more than half of the cultists, I think, statistically. One, two, six, seven, eight, <sighs> 13, 15, 19, 23, 24. All right, we've got 24 of, I think, 50. So we're actually at almost, no, there's no way. Wait, yeah, because each branch, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and then, like, there's 40, there's 49. Okay, so we're at 28, or 24, 49, so we are actually at halfway. Although, the sages are what's left. The thing is, is that I have most of the info on the sages, I just need the one missing piece, which is going to be from the one person I haven't fucking discovered investigate the clue to discover the identity of the cultist uh, a clue to the cultist was lost in a cove on scavengers coast in Anshia. oh god fuck all that noise i'll probably just look up where the clues are that way there i can reveal the information and then just make an episode of just hunting motherfuckers but as i said before we're gonna end this episode here 
We're gonna continue on with the quest. We're gonna we're gonna find at least this cult member. That's for damn sure, because he's part of the story. So he's dying. Like that 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 is happening. I need to figure out where the fuck she fled to, because her ass just fled, and that pisses me off. Yeah, that's what happened to the guy on my on the guy on my dad's game that fled. He fled from that ship. Somehow. Well, the the thing was with uh, Chrysis over here. You encounter her in an altar where people bring, like, babies, I guess. You find her with a child, and she tries to set the temple on fire. And so your options are either to hunt her or save the infant. And I was like, well, I'm going to save the kid. <laughs> and then she fled, and I don't know where she fled to. And all it says is venture into Argolis. So it's like, I can't do anything. Like, I don't... I'll just fucking look it up later, I guess. I don't know. Right now, I'm just enjoying the story. So, we're going to save, we're going to end it, I'm going to relax for a bit, uh, just chill, chill with Johnny, um, and then, uh, yeah, eat dinner, the whole nine yards, probably stream again tonight, probably going to be Demon Souls or Godfall, I don't know, I want to play something new. <laughs> but I am having fun with this, and also I am fucking brutal at this point. Oh man, the sage just named the shadow. Spoopy. Hmm. Anyhow. Happy to have you here, folks. Hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye.